Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello and welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody and I'm Amanda. I'm, uh, oh, Amanada. Sorry, Amanada. Jo- my co-host for Pod in the City made me change uh, my name on here. <laughs> Let me guess. John doesn't have his name as Joan either. No. The Gall. The Gall. Uh, we're both having great days, which is why <laughs> I'm wearing just a Calgary Flames t-shirt for Christine it. today. But Jody bought this for me, actually. So I did. I and I'm wearing like a little trusty Janelle denim shirt. I thought I'd, you know. Good enough. Ooh, who knew? Hmm. I'm going to change my uh, garden, too. I'm going to um, change my avatar. Really you know bad. what I think it is? I feel like we always <laughs> head into these episodes like, we're having a day. And I think I'm just realizing now it's because it's on Mondays. Like, no Monday is a good day. Well, every day just kind of soaks into the others for me. But um, hello, everyone. I, my, guess what? Hey, guess what? My car battery is dead again. I think it's the cold. And I have a flat tire. For for God knows what reason. It wasn't well, last two days ago. Haven't dr- okay. Let's just go with the cold. Let's just go it with it. It is because we get your cold snap. We get your weather uh current movement front, whatever, from Calgary down to the plain states here in Chicago. So uh it, kids head off. They're doing e-learning on uh tomorrow as well as on is... Friday. So that was fun. From that from the fun. <laughs> from the school of excellence, y'all. <laughs> that was almost deep as funny cut. as caramels. Yeah, deep, deep cut, deep teen mom cut there. Um, so I'm trying um, a different microphone location out today. If it's in the frame, I apologize. The volume is all the way up. It's as close to my mouth as possible without being in it. So hopefully you can hear me okay. If not, we're blaming StreamYard as we always do. Um, Amanda, yeah. how are the pets holding up in this freezing cold? They're all good. And by the way, everyone was asking a couple weeks ago, and I just didn't see the comments. But Walter's, uh, his little toe is all, his little toenail is all healed up. Mm. Oh well, good. Yeah, just in time for it to just freeze right off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when it goes outside. Exactly. Um, now, uh, listen. I usually have my wits about me a little bit more, but my dad was just here trying to fix my car, and then. This is like classic my dad. Um, He's like, oh, can I have a glass of water? And I'm like, okay. So I give him a glass of water and I gave him like my toolbox. I'm like, I need to go upstairs and like curl my hair. Obviously that didn't happen. I just threw it up in the shitty bun. But uh, but (laughs) I look out my window and he's just driving away. And I'm like, what happened? And I just went downstairs. The glass of water is just in the middle of the floor and tools are just everywhere. Oh, (laughs) jeez. What happened? And then I tried to text him and it went to like, it went to green. So I think he's he done. turned his phone off. I think he's just, I think he's freaking out. So. He's done. Um, you're getting lots of good tips in the chat here about your yeah. battery. You have to, if you don't drive your car much, Meggie Ball says the battery won't hold a charge. That is true. You do, you need to like run it a little bit because that's what recharges the battery. Even if you don't go anywhere, get out there, start the car and run it. I'm just going to have to get like a real job solely to keep my car running. I'll just get a job. <laughs> So that I have somewhere to go every day. Let it run, you know? Just let it go for a little bit. Let it heat up. And and the other thing is, I can literally turn on my car from like inside my house and I just don't. Well, there's no excuse, Amanda. (laughs) Is he back? I don't know what's going on. He's he's doing something. But anyway, a lot's going to be happening. I'm going to try to keep everything together. I set everything up last night. Christine got married last night. She's getting married. 
Did oh, you know I, that? I have my tally from last week, which is uh, on the back of, remember when we had our um, our bookmarks when we were reading the book and mine was like an old piece of junk mail that someone recognized like, yours was something else. It's still in the book. Yeah. Mine is um, an old 401k alternate payee distribution request that never got uh, turned in. So I don't even know what a 401k reduce, is. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, let's uh, let's do some. I guess. Ha well, anyway, the wedding was good. Geez, oh, good. I cried. I I've watched it three times now because, well, first of all, it's that time of month for me. Uh, and the Ozempic is Tomorrow. really well. The Ozempic is really up in the state of the um the pain, and it's cold outside, so it's just it, awesome. So I was ball. I balled. I try. Oh, I, okay. I would be a little less emotional for this, but we don't yeah. know where that's gonna go. Okay. I'm already a little stressed out, so I might just ball through this entire thing. But I'll um, be the heartless one that doesn't cry. I think we'll, you'll we'll cry. See where I end up. Okay. You're all like <laughs> romanticy, and I'm not. So I feel like you're gonna go like, or maybe not. I don't. I'm not quite there with with second marriages yet. Okay. Well. Anyway, um, I, I need to show second you relationships. I'm all aboard for that. Like I'm all in, but I just logistics. I'm not know. even there, we'll uh, but let's, I'm going to show you this surprise right up front. It'll get me in a better mood. Uh, by the way, I have something being delivered to my house in Ooh. about half an hour. I'm going to have to run downstairs and get it because again, my car doesn't work. So mm. you, you know, you know, what we're going to be like, tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be karma level of, oh, uh, of insanity okay i have a surprise for you that i <laughs> i got this a few days ago and then it's been killing me to not be able to show you okay yeah even literally everyone okay. else in my life has already seen this so <gasps> okay, you finally okay, get to okay. this should be brown town territory but i'm just gonna show it to you right at the top okay here. okay um i and now I I want to just kind of show you, okay. but it needs uh it needs the backstory because it's not explained in any. <laughs> I asked Janelle. I, I got a cameo from Janelle. No. Most hilarious part of this is that um. Wait 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 wait. wait. Time out. <laughs> you ordered it or you received one? I ordered it and received Ooh. one for the two of us. Now you are flying so close to the sun right now. Now you need oh. you need like this piece of information too because my um when I was trying to set up my podcast with John a pot in the city everyone check it out leave us some okay. five star reviews on iTunes just broke out um, of sweat okay. I was trying to just submitting a new podcast to iTunes is like the it's worst an ordeal. possible thing you can do so yeah. my phone got just deleted it just deleted itself it like i accidentally pressed like refresh or oh, like no. go back oh, no. to system settings so when i ordered this cameo from janelle okay the credit card like didn't go through because i needed to still like validate it and so she yeah. still sent it <laughs> she got really excited and you can tell she's excited. It's the most excited and happy you've ever seen Janelle. Oh, cameo, God. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I need to lean in. Like, oh, like okay, now, all, now, I asked her to talk about boot lamp. Okay, I just said the, the whole message was talk about boot lamp. Do you <gasps> have them still? And can you show them to us? That's it. That's it. No. And then I said, do you even realize how iconic? <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> oh I my god. You know, Sorry, I'm so screaming. Okay. I showed this to Jean and Mary Jane and Jean's like, "Yeah, when I got you guys that cameo before, it took her like a, at least a week to send it back." I oh sent this request at like 10 p.m. She sent it back at 2 o'clock in the morning. No, just <laughs> now. She All was right, in you know. her bed with a good book. Oh, no, she's got wearing, the alert from she's Samuel wearing, her, and she's wearing wait. power army green jacket. She she's powered. <gasps> she got dressed for this. Oh God. Okay. All right, okay. Here we go. I'm just showing. It. I know everyone's edging. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Hey Amanda and Jody, I just saw your request come in, so I had to come in and answer it because believe it or not, I was just um, cleaning out the storage unit where I had put those when I moved out of the last the house, the big house. 
that I lived in here in Flag, and they're still there. And I'll tell you what, I think I just have to keep them because they were so quirky when I found them at the secondhand store all those years ago. Um, and I, I'm gonna have to keep them because they're just cool, right? I like anything that's a little bit out of the box like that. So um, even if it doesn't match my decor, I'm gonna still hold on to those because it might at some point. So unfortunately, I can't show them to you. They are at my storage unit, but I still have them. And it's so funny, I got this message today because I just saw them. I am exhilarating. <laughs> like they completely turned my mood around. I know. I love her. Yeah. I'm in a better mood too now. We put that, we manifested it. We secreted it out to Janelle. Yeah, she's good. She I think she was them. thinking about getting rid of them, it sounded like. Oh, but she's now excited. She's like, she will never get rid of those. And she's going to think every time. <laughs> Oh, people love them. I remember that one time. They're iconic. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? People love them. Who knew? Well, she got wow. the, uh, the chest cold she situation. Got, yeah, <laughs> throat. Throat. She might need a, like a little sip of water might do you some good, you know? <laughs> some of that hot chai tea you said you, you love during the, the fall season. Do you think she was in full REM cycle in bed and then she got that request and then got so excited, didn't drink water. Rolled over, grabbed her jacket. <laughs> grabbed her fall jacket, wrapped it around. And then went to a blank wall. Stood in front of it. And there's something Amanda, in... that, wait, that, that's adorable. You think it's a blank wall. You know she has no headboard and she just sat up in her bed and <gasps> oh. it's right behind her. Okay, well, there's, there's nothing blankies on the and wall. Pillows akimbo. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. There's no blankets akimbo or no pillows akimbo. Janelle has a one pillow on her bed. <laughs> and it's like... It's from Flat. 1970. It's her yeah. favorite. It's her yeah. favorite pillow. Can't goes with her everywhere. Hey, goes I, on the I, plane. I get it. Goes everywhere. Oh my god. Hang on, I'm just checking out my delivery. Uh, yeah, what did you think of that? It wasn't that like the most. Oh. I, for, I had forgotten that I even submitted it, and then I just wasn't even expecting her to do that it. That was worth however much you paid for it. Like the joy it brought Janelle. Oh, it was like fifty bucks. It was like nothing. Like. <laughs> Well, it, it that, was zero dollars because my credit card didn't go through. And she I was gonna say, I think she would have done that for free because it brought her so much joy. And you know what? I know she does a lot of this when she's recording. She does a lot of <laughs> a lot of face touching. Who knew? Do you want to watch it one more? So let's watch it one more. I do. Time I do. I do. I do. Yeah. yeah, I need to take it in this time. Okay. Okay. Hey, Amanda and Jody, I just saw your request come in, so I had to come in and answer it because, believe it or not, I was just. Um, cleaning out the storage unit where I had put those when I moved out of the last, the house, the big house that I lived in here in Flag, and they're still there. And I'll tell you what, I think I just have to keep them because they were so quirky when I found them at the secondhand store all those years ago. Um, and I, I'm gonna have to keep them because they're just cool, right? I like anything that's a little bit out of the box like that. So, um, even if it doesn't match my decor, I'm going to still hold on to those because it might at some point. So unfortunately, I can't show them to you. They are at my storage unit, but I still have them. And it's so funny. I got this message today because I just saw them. She's so pretty. I love her. So pretty. And I just love that she was so excited she forgot to even say the words boot lamp. So there's no, you would have no idea what she was talking about. She said our names. I know. I know. And okay, okay, I know this is like Christine's day and everything, but she was way nicer to us than Christine was. Girls, girls, girls. Thank God for Isabel. Isabel's on our side. Thank God. Right. Let's do. Where was some... truly with a cup of tea for Janelle? Because she really needed one. Oh, oh my gosh, her, I'm I'm kind of actually concerned about her because she's had that. She's had some nodes for a her while. Voice is raspy in this episode too, in Christine's wedding. Hear yourselves, Janelle. Out. Um, okay, let's uh let's do some um housekeeping here. Didn't I make a new graphic? Yeah, I did. Where is it? There it is. I can't believe that's Robin's kitchen. Robin's kitchen. Yeah. That is Disgusting. unbelievable. It looks like a you know, just a stock photo of a hoarded kitchen. Can you throw can you do it one more time? Yeah. Also, she has a nanny. She likes that 
children's oh, crush wow. apparently <laughs> oh god huge oh Six you pack. know ariola sucks on that thing like it's a baby bottle oh she like mouths it like oh <laughs> you know she does all right well um <sighs> housekeeping uh, let's see what we got uh coming up this week i'll pull up the banners um we're doing uh on patreon patreon.com slash love to hate tv we're doing sister wife season nine episode 12 mary catfish this is the butternut squash episode this is it mm-hmm this is it. And uh, on TRP, uh, patreon.com slash TRPod, or it's also on uh, Love to Hate TV, uh, we're doing uh, Counting On, season two, episode five, Ben Drops Beats. I watched it very early oh, this morning. Okay. And um, I think we're obviously going to have to listen to the sick beats oh, that okay. Ben lays down. <laughs> and for the record, I was thinking Ben was Ginger's husband. But it's not. Ben is Jessa's. Ginger's husband is the one that I can't stand. I've never heard any of those names my entire life, so <laughs> fine. Um, <laughs> follow us on Instagram and TikTok, guys. Uh, we got some good videos on the on the TikTok uh, there. We're, I'm, I'm dropping those beats. On yeah, TikTok. you are. Yep, yeah. it's getting pretty lit. And once again, smash that like below. Daddy put That's a right. baby in me. Oh, boy or girl. <laughs> smash that like below, yeah. Robin and uh, Cody were so unlikable in this last episode. Oh, the whole family's in Alaska. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> they're in Alaska, and Robin and Cody think anyone gives a shit about little baby Ariola in there. Yeah, Hunter calls from basic training, and he finally got his phone back after like eight months, and it becomes all about if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Robin's you. Yeah, go away. Yeah. No one cares. Yeah, we get to meet Kate and Brett. So, oh, that's it's all right. Oh. <laughs> Worth and the it. entire family when he remember when he drove up and the entire family is like standing in a line like the von traps just like staring yes. doing cody like yeah you kiss her you kiss her real hard frightening gross okay uh so that um and i don't know what a, what else what other housekeeping do we have here my uh, uh my notes are, haven't transferred over to the computer because once again, my whole phone got deleted. So I guess we'll just, uh, what else? That's it. Um, I'm looking at the comments. You guys are absolutely hilarious. Maggie Ball says the Von farts. <laughs> Hunter is hot. <laughs> Hunter is oh. hot in this episode here. Really? Yes. Yeah. You're going to love it. Well, um, Hunter's always for the most part been able to get it. Oh, okay. I know. Okay. Here's here's a piece of housekeeping. Um, I'm gonna be petty. I'm gonna be a petty bitch right now. Okay, okay. Um, usually I try. Listen, we all know I get several messages every day telling me what a piece of shit I am, and usually I'll just kind of let it go or like delete it. But like, I need to give this Hugh Jackman up, update because. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, this is important. No, this is true. Like, truly this is breaking important. pews. Yeah. <laughs> I told a story. I, I I told a story about this Hugh Jackman video I'd seen for Greatest Showman, and um, Joan posted. Joan like found it in two seconds, and I was a hundred percent right. And the person who wrote that message to me, like, get out. I'm yeah. like, I, I'm not letting this go because it was so. So explain mean. it. So you had said there's a video of Hugh. Hugh Jackman and perf they're all performing for um, the like to get the show like greenlit or whatever. And Hugh Jackman had just gotten surgery on his nose. And so he, he wasn't allowed to sing. So Jeremy Jordan, who my dad is like obsessed with, um, he was the understudy and he was like singing the songs for Hugh Jackman. And then Hugh Jackman at one point like takes over cause he's so overwhelmed by the emotion and he just takes over and Jeremy Jordan's like, Oh, and then someone, I forgot who, what shoot. I forgot who told me. Oh, it was, um, it was, I think it was Keevan McMichael or maybe it was Daniel. Either way, someone wrote a message to us saying, oh, yeah, not only was that completely true, but there's also a video, which I watched, of Jeremy Jordan doing, like, a 10-minute, like, thing at 54 Below in New York talking about that story and how shitty that was of Hugh Jackman mm, doing that. It is. And, and there's, a there's a video of Hugh Jackman telling his version of the story on the Graham Norton effect. 
or Graham Norton show. Right. So not only was I right, but I was so right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Video evidence, a, a, yeah. a listener approved, validated. Uh, everyone oh, involved. Yeah, everyone a- is saying they remember. This. <laughs> yes. That's right. Uh, this And this message wasn't just uh, telling me that I was wrong about that. Then it went on to one uh, a regular segment from myself is getting a message telling me that I'm rude to Jody and I'm mean to her and I talk over her no. all the time. No. Bad friend. False. <laughs> so... I always talk over you. I interrupt. It's on me. Whatever. I was right about the Hugh Jackman thing, at least. Well, well <laughs> we can deal with all the other stuff later. Okay. Hugh Jackman sucks. Australia gifts him to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's. Remember when he flew in on that? Uh... <laughs> What's that, Hugh Jackman? It was like on Oprah or The View, and he like. <laughs> They were they were in Australia. Oh no. And he like flew in on his on a zip line. And I think like I think he like hurt himself. Like it went awry. His entrance into the segment was vaguely him familiar. Flying in on a zip line and I think something hit him in the face or something. Was, and his face <gasps> Remember when Fabio yeah, that was hit in the theater. face by a goose on a roller coaster? <laughs> a full goose. I mean, that's that's incredible like if you think there is no god like that's god just being like you know what let's just have a little fun today that goose down there get in there they pull into the like they, they pull into like the end of the ride and he's just sitting there like <laughs> just a bloody face smarts that, that that's smarts uh <laughs> oh. right. Um, okay, let's see. What else? Uh, that's it for housekeeping. Um, let's go on to uh, Hot Topics, shall we? Wonderful. That I was waiting for a long time. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no, no, no part sound on that one. Um, hot Topics. I don't... Oh, I do have a Hot Topic. A Hot Topic topic and you're gonna okay. hate it oh, um okay. it's uh jeopardy you know the show jeopardy yes um look who was a uh look who was a uh, oh, answer here. <laughs> oh, jeopardy is my dad here i feel like my dad is here um comedians nick weiger and mike mitchell review fast food and chain restaurants on this podcast whose name evokes world war one infantrymen didn't know that <laughs> that's me rolling my eyes up close to nelson the Doughboys were an answer on Jeopardy, Jody. Did they? Did anyone get it correct? Yeah, the person. I think. It, I think they did. Sure. sure. Now, now, really quickly, we've been getting a, a couple people getting mad about um, any um, Howie the Crab updates, and they think that you're mean for <laughs> saying that Howie's food. But um, this is a, a most recent post from uh, Howie's mom. And I just think it's relevant to two sister wives because Howie currently has a temperature. Of, oh, that's Howie's temperature? Uh, no. Oh, maybe it's her temperature. But it's Howie's mom. That's okay. something called, um, what's the word? Mm, karma. <laughs> it's, oh, uh, my, um, by the way, my courier is about to arrive to make my delivery. Um, Very Canadian. But I just thought this was relevant because this is an actual fever. Oh, 100. Yeah, 1.1. Yes. What was Cody's? 98.9? Like 99.6, I think. And he just goes, shows it to the screen. Which is like the asshole. coolest my body temperature is at any <laughs> given day. Or day. It's like if I went outside right now, it's negative yeah. 20. And that's where my body temperature is. Oh, yeah. Like. I was helping my dad with the car uh, in wearing like with no jacket on. And just a t-shirt. <sighs> 99.8 um, was his temperature, a whopping 99.8. <laughs> right. Um, and then my other up my other hot topic of this week is that David Eason from Teen Mom, or not from Teen Mom, because they got fired. You fired. Mm-hmm. Uh, his charges got upgraded to felony child abuse. Okay, so I just saw that on TikTok and I didn't get a chance to finish it. Um but people are still asking, why are Ensley and Kaiser still in their care when they're accused of child abuse? I don't know. Are there that's any outrageous. social workers in the comments? Because like I feel like that should be addressed. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Or has it 
or maybe it has been investigated, but like they're guilty of it, right? Like they're they know that yes. they abused him. No, they right? got uh, like it's got not a legend. Upgraded right? to like um child abuse, felony, strangu evidence of strangulation. So that's oh cool. god, that's so sick and wrong. Ugh. All right, my uh, my oh, depends my, on state laws. Okay. Oh, okay. My courier is here, so I'm gonna run downstairs really quick. And by run, oh. I mean hobble. But you just uh, okay. You know. Talk to talk to everyone. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. So I'm going to take a little look see here at oh, I was going to look ahead at the photos, but maybe I shouldn't. OK, I know I'm going to share this one because um, Amanda Amanada sent this one of me of me um, to me of Latrice. And I do have to say, although Latrice, I feel like if she had the opportunity to hurt me, she would. Um, but she looks really cute and pretty right here. And I'm pretty sure that's Grey's Anatomy in the background, because of course. But she does look very cute. Like I'm kind of going into a, um, a, a anaphylactic shock just looking, but she is very, very pretty there. She looks like cute and cozy and cuddly. Um, let's see, what else? I feel like I'm like sneaking through mom's drawer of her photos here. Um, I don't want to take too far. We got Cody. Should we see what this is? Oh, Medieval Times. Isn't that cute? I actually want to go back to Medieval Times. Anyone been recently? I went as a kid and we went into like the torture chamber room. It was like a, I don't know, you had to pay an extra like five or 10 bucks to go in. Of course, my parents did it. We were with my aunt and uncle who were like, you know, they would do fun things with their kids. Um, but we went in there and it was like, it was horrifying because I remember there was something called the pear and they would, it was like a medieval torture device, obviously for women because, you know, women deserve to be tortured. Um, and it was like they would put it in and then it would just like spread like this, ah, like down there. Um, and it's stuck with me ever since. But medieval times itself, like, is that a good time? Is it as, as high quality a meal as it used to be? Like, I feel like there's probably a lot of, like, spit and boogers in the food because it's dark and they just, like, throw it at you. But I feel like that could be a really good time. Um, I just don't want to be picked out of the crowd to, like, do anything. I don't want to be, like, named uh, princess of the tournament or whatever. Um, but it would be, like, really good people watching, I feel like. Oh, good. 40th birthday. People are saying they're gone a lot. Okay. Love this. Oh, you guys can see Scout back there. She's sleeping. Oh, let's see her. Wally, it must be a man. Wally is not happy. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Um, okay, so let, let's see. What else does she have in here? Um, oh, gosh. Okay, what's going on? Oh, did we see this before? I feel like we've seen Vagina Daddy before. This is Robin's stepdad. He does look a little by, a bit like Kenny Rogers. Um, meets my childhood orthodontist. I think we've mentioned this before. Uh, what else in the comments as Amanda hobbles her way up here? Uh, people are going to look for their dogs. Yeah. Um, oh, I love this. Lexa, you're so cool. Lexa works at uh, Fox NFL Podcast. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, everyone's dog's ears are perking up. Oh, her cat's looking around for Walter barking. That's adorable. He does look like the diabetes guy. Diabetes. Walter, Walter. Walter Brimley? Is that his name? That's bizarre. I feel like he probably looks like everyone's father-in-law. That's a really good point, Kelly. <laughs> Is your father-in-law vagina daddy? Uh, Jesus. Did you hear all of that? Yeah, we heard um, Walter going nuts. And I'm like, uh, it must be a male delivery person it was and that, he, he, that guy he like asked me out basically i don't oh, could you hear what? that or should, should told me to shut up it was like it. it was like full flirting and then i was like over it after like two seconds because i was like okay i i have like <laughs> i'm doing something was he like hey you uh you need some help drinking some of that he asked me if Keep i would on. uh if i would get it was a whole thing. I'll just tell you. Um, first of all, he, it was the definition of moseying. He, he, oh. I, I like, watch, I watch him. <laughs> I have someone yeah, like, on back to the car. Yeah, he like gets out of his car. He's checking. 
his phone. He's, he goes in the back seat to get the thing. And then he comes up and, uh, and he was like asking me my, um, I had to show my ID and he's like, Oh, 83. And he's like, Oh, I, I'm 75. And I was like, oh, okay. And then we kind of flirted Ew. back and forth. And then I was like, I need to go. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm much older than you, but he's like, I, you know, uh, there's, and I was like, well, the seventies are cool. The seventies are cool. And he's like, uh, <laughs> that, 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 that's a sexy line. That's a sexy, write that one well, down. Also, I'm wearing this and, cool. and pajama pants. So I'm like, just standing oh, no, no, no. He, like, let's wrap this up. He, he wants, you should have just invited him in. Well, then he, he goes, you know what? Do you want to meet my friends? He's still like out there. He's See, still, he's, like, still, he's, still in, he's still he's in the driveway like on yeah, his what, phone. what did he look like what did 75 look just, like was he hot? good looking no yeah he's good looking okay what color hair uh, or was he wearing a hat i don't know i was just i was i was annoyed immediately because i'm like i need to get back upstairs but he goes uh he goes uh after i said that the 70s were cool he said oh yeah 1975 there's that song about 1975 and you know i'm I, which i didn't know what he was talking about, but I was like, yeah, totally. And he's like, yeah, I've been looking for a girl to get 1975 tattooed on their arm or something. And I was like, oh, ha, ha. Ew, that's and his he, line. And that's then, his then, line. Oh, definitely. And he goes, he goes Do you, he's like, would you be that girl? I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe if you. No! I was like, can we just get this over with this, inter I've never this had interaction? Anyone, like, Jeez. flirt with me like that. Like, you really do just have, like, a. Every man just wants to paint you. Like you just have something about you. I've never had okay. anyone flirt with me like that. Ever. Like I don't but think I anyone like, has ever flirted with me. My period, window's ever. open and I was very hyper where I'm like, I feel like everyone in the live stream can hear this interaction taking place and I just wanted to get the hell out of there. I should have shut up. That is my biggest regret <laughs> in my life right now. We could hear Walter. That was already God damn yeah. it. Oh yeah, he talked about that too. He's like, he's like, oh, don't worry, puppy. And I was like, oh, you know, he thinks he's tough. And he's like, oh yeah, that Napoleon complex, right? Like, I mean, I, I have it too. Don't worry, because he, he's like, he's a short king. Oh, I learned okay, way okay, too okay. much about this man. In you know that everything about him. Right? <laughs> I could, from the information you've provided, I absolutely could find him. <laughs> Remember when you gave me the the first name of a guy yeah. that you saw? And a state that he had lived in at one point. You found I, par some parking tickets. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. He was parking. He was parked in a no parking zone. You still haven't been able to figure out who the mole is, though. No, I have not, and I have I've, tried. And I honestly I forget his tried. first name. I think it was like Robert or something. Now, I'm just gonna throw this out here. If I zelled or Venmoed you money right now, maybe you could place another order for delivery. Wait, no, so, and 75 so, could just come back over. That's that's what we'll just call them is 75. Honestly, oh, yeah. if I if I wasn't in a rush, like I I could have definitely gotten him to like propose to me <laughs> if I'd stayed out there longer. He was like ready to go. Like Julia says he could be your David <gasps> Wooly. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to order. Something. That was like so. This day is so weird. <sighs> Okay. He might um, be a little cold. You could warm him up. He's inside. a short king. He's got that Napoleon complex. <laughs> My God. Okay. What, 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 what did I miss? Did I miss anything whilst I was, whilst Wait. I was having this interaction? Julie from Resting Bitch Face said, you sent us mole pics. No, you did not. No, you I didn't send not. us mole. I never would. You sent us crab cakes. I sent crab cakes, yes. Who had his water bottle. <laughs> his Nalgene bottle. His Nalgene <laughs> With Attached black a socks <laughs> and hiking boot shooting mid shoes. mid calf socks too pulled up all the black way socks up. with his Nalgene hooked on one of the loops from his carpenter shorts. Oh my! God, you can okay. do so much better. So much better. I'm not not interested. Wait, wait I didn't <gasps> wait. What? I didn't mean to <laughs> just like check out of life. Do like, that. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. That's bye. it. I'm gonna run down the road looking for 75. <laughs> like, come back. We had a oh real God. spark. Okay. Oh, um, okay. Did, did I miss anything? You just talk, you talked to everyone. You said hello. Oh yeah, I pulled up um, a photo of Christine and Truly at um, Medieval Times. <laughs> Great. Yeah. That you that you had put up. Um, and I was fielding it from the group. People are saying it's still a good time. I would go back to Medieval Times. I've I never really would. been, but I would. Totally 
hopefully go to medieval times. I feel like it's expensive. I feel like I looked it up a couple years ago and it was pricey. Yeah, and apparently the food's not good. And you know how I know that because they recapped it on uh, Doughboys. Um, okay, okay. Here's a picture of Latrice for anyone. Oh, I showed that too. <laughs> oh, you did? I did, okay. yeah. And, and I agree. I said... She actually looks really cute and cuddly there. And that's probably Grey's Anatomy on in the background. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I sent that to Justine it's and she's like, of course oh. you're watching Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, do you want to go into what are we watching? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Let me find out. <laughs> Herd mentality wrote, Amanda's getting married. <laughs> yeah. Getting married to the love of my life, my soulmate, 75. <laughs> the short king, who is now known as 75. Cut to your uh your Instagram live if you get in a tattoo with 75. Like over, <laughs> oh, right where Christine has her tattoo, just like right I over should. your breast. 75. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Oh, do I I don't have my phone? Okay, well, I'll just go through the pictures here. See, okay. Is, I, I prep stuff. Um, what are we watching? Okay, so... I am watching since... Oh, go ahead. No, you I was go. just going to say, because everyone's talking about it in the chat, Trader Season 2, it is pretty good. I started okay. watching it. I think there's only, what, like three episodes out? It is pretty good. It's the one hosted by your favorite, Alex... Alex, Jesus. Alex... Blah, blah. Oh, my God. Alex Trebek? No, coming coming oh yes alan coming alan coming thank you i don't know why i'm saying alec god um yeah it's really good it's got like good people on it it's got some housewives it's it's pretty damn good um alan highly coming, suggest get into it alan coming i know he did a show with like or i have friends who've done shows with him oh no okay and um and I don't know if like this is like great, but like uh, like one of his like pre-show rituals, like before each performance, he would like go to all the women's dressing rooms and like hump them and like dry hump them. But he's like gay, so I guess that's like okay. is that a me too? I think it is. I don't care. But he's just very campy. <laughs> like I, I, he's right. likable in this. Um, so Sandra, who Lexa mentioned, Team Sandra. She's like a survivor all star. You would know her if you saw her. Like I didn't. I'm not even a super survivor person, but you just know her face. But I feel bad for her because she's got braces, like she's got adult braces, and she has like this like funky scar on her head, and she's just like, okay. She, they they feel like very fresh braces, and if you've ever had braces, like you've been there, where you just feel like. You have a handful of paper clips in your mouth. Your mouth hasn't figured out a way to yeah. like work yeah. itself around. Yeah, it. your your lips don't know how to navigate all of the which the is how and which valleys. is how um, Jen from Real Housewives recaps describes uh, Cynthia Nixon and and just like that she's like her mouth oh. just doesn't know how to exist <laughs> yes. around her teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's just so good. There's a bunch of people from uh, like Real World Road Rules. Trishel's on there. What's the other guy? CT. Um, Johnny Bananas. I feel like oh this is after God. our Johnny time. Johnny Bananas is still, that. I, I can't stand that guy. Well, I Go won't give you any spoilers, Johnny but I highly suggest you tune in. Like, it's going to be a good season. Um, oh, and uh, Marcus Jordan and Larsa, Larsa Pippen. I know you don't watch Real Housewives in Miami, but anyway, it, it's really, really good. Um, also, just to piggyback right off that, somewhat similar show on, uh, I don't even remember, it doesn't matter. Um, it's called like the trust and it's kind of a similar thing where it's like the entire team has to decide if they're going to vote people off and keep money in the trust if they're going to take it for themselves oh, okay. and like it's kind of complicated it's not as good as traders um and same thing there's only like two or three episodes out so there's really no like you know can't really like, sink your teeth into it but all right next week i'll have a better uh a better handle on it all right what about you um i watched um uh i watched salt burn you heard of that <sighs> okay yeah tell me about this okay like i will not watch it i'm just gonna let you know because as you uh, know i don't really watch anything scripted right um i just i just keep hearing stuff about this movie and how like crazy it is and yeah. like 
all the things that ha I was like, that okay. I I think maybe I'm just dead inside, so nothing shocks me anymore. But like that, I was like, oh, all right. It took me oh. a long time to get through too because I kept getting distracted. Um, it was a it was a slow burn, salt burn. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, peppermint from Drag Races. On oh, trailers. peppermint. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. You'll really get into it if you like peppermint. Like right away, you're just gonna be like right in. All right. Um, okay, so salt burn. Is there like a twist to it that you're not expecting? That's what I heard. Like, oh, don't talk about it. Spoilers and. Yeah, I didn't think it was real. Anything was really that. The twist, I was like, oh yeah, okay. That makes mm. sense. I kind of saw that coming. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. But the acting was good. All right. Can you give me like without any spoilers? What is yeah. the? It's a uh, the kid from Killing of a Sacred Deer, um, who is oh only... yeah that guy. <laughs> For, that's just who he is. Not a movie, head. but okay. <laughs> that is now that's a weird. That's a fucked up movie. Killing but... of a Sacred Deer. Yeah, I think Colin Farrell's in it. Hmm. Anyway, don't don't worry about that. He like Weird goes to some Colin boarding Fiddle. school so. and he meets the uh, Jacob E. Lordy from um, Euphoria. They become friends. And then he goes to his house, like his big mansion and spends the summer with him. And then a bunch of stuff happens and he's like in love oh. with him. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell without giving away any of the like weird stuff. But not again, nothing was really weird. But again, I'm dead inside. I also okay. watched... Um, this show called them have you heard of this it was coming up on my tiktok yesterday oh. and it's kind of it's like a mini series it's on amazon prime for free and okay. um I, it's about kind of um uh it's about racism in the 1950s like this black family moves to california from north carolina and the whole block is like pissed that there's a black family on the block yeah. and like I, I I was like reading a bunch of stuff about it. Is my dad here again? My dad keeps coming back. <laughs> I think your dad is just chasing Wait. 75 around the neighborhood. Like, you're, you're like little, little, um, oh God. I, I almost said Aurora, but I won't, I won't compare you to that. I'm so sorry. Uh, like Cody with a shotgun. Who's coming after his daughter? <laughs> Well, my dad doesn't give a shit. Um, uh, okay, so them. So I was seeing this on TikTok, and I was I'm getting into this, and it, it's produced by uh, Lena Waith, I think is how you say her name, and she's the girl from Masters of None. She plays Aziz Ansari. Careful, her uh, his best okay. friend, and we did that Thanksgiving episode, and it's about her coming out of the closet. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great episode. Amazing episode. Yes. Masters of None is a great show. Um, yeah. but she uh, she produced it, so I'm like. I trust her. I'm going to like this. And I'm texting Justine the whole time I'm watching this. And um, like, I'm right just starting like episode two. And I'm like, I'm really into this. I, I like this. And then there's this dog in the movie, in the show. And I was oh, like, no, definitely going to die. And it does. And so I'm not watching it anymore. So for anyone who wants to watch that show, it's okay. very good. I won't be continuing it. Uh, and the dog okay. is a Jack Russell that looks like Walter. So. Oh, okay. Well then that's in them that's in them oh, but the acting is really good in the show and if you don't care about that then yeah i mean you it, it's it's rough um yeah. let's talk about which i can't believe we haven't discussed yet uh the real housewives of salt lake city mm. reunion whitney's dress is okay yeah wait leave this up here for a minute okay her dress is awful whitney. everyone's dress is awful it I looks others, i guess terrible like it is not it's flattering stupid. at all you can see her little nip covers underneath her hair was not oh, flattering yeah, the can. necklaces like even my my daughter's a freshman in high school who wears cheap jewelry was like oh she has way too many cheap necklaces on <laughs> like it was just it, it looks so dated just where it hits above her knee like that looks awful it's just it's a horrible dress and meredith i mean meredith just looks like meredith although this is the best meredith has looked at a reunion she has had some weird some ass looks. clothes monica this is looks the best good she's uh, yeah. andy andy was checked out the whole time he did not well, want to be there i want to like flick andy's face i just right. I'm not a heather looks good um heather looks good. 
I, um, Lisa looked good. Le no, I hated Lisa. Really? Look. Oh, I thought she looked good. It was so like uh, 80s, like hooker from a movie. Because it just sure. had those. those um, oh, like, you're thinking Pretty Woman, where her dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I'm but thinking. Yeah. That is what I'm thinking. But she looked good. But I guess Lisa always, for the most part, looks good. Can All I right. touch that? Touch that. I'm gonna touch oh, can that. I touch? Can I touch? I'm Mary Cosby, is she going to be in the reunion? Or I think we're she's going to be. She exists, exists. No, 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 no. I think she's going to come on, which okay. I could do without. Bye bye. You, you know who else um, you can do without is Angie. I love when Monica's like, this has nothing to do with you, pretty much like the rest of the entire season. Like, yeah, but you know what? Damn. I was surprised <laughs> because Angie really held her own. Like she, she, she? Can, I, don't remember what I think she anything. did. I think okay. she can come in very, um, like she knows how to make her point. We're like, you know, where you're like, oh my God, just say this and, and sure. put it to bed or like that will shut her up. I feel like Angie did that in this I'm episode. Yeah. She is, yeah, I mean, she is, a, she's, she's the third guy, right? Yeah. Like this, <laughs> yes. Yeah. She's more of a yeah. friend of, she's not a, a, a main player, but I think she really held her own well. And Monica, I feel bad because last week we're like, we like Monica. I, I still like Monica. I thought she did great at this reunion. I loved it. I mean, she's a liar. She's a pathological liar. She's like a Jen Shaw, right? Like she's charismatic. You could see one-on-one -on -one where she might be likable, but then you're she's like, oh, she's that girl. Like, yeah. she's that girl that will steal your clothes. Like, you're her roommate. She'll steal your shit and be like, I didn't steal your shit. You're crazy. Okay. She's sure. a fucking bitch. She's a whore. I know about you. Like, she's that girl that will turn on you. She's yeah, sneaky. but she's perfect for TV. And she, like, bamboozled all of them so well. And she just doesn't give any shits about it. Yeah, but they, like they really got her when she was like, people are bringing up my kids and saying really mean things. And they're like, yeah, people on the internet can do that, can't they? Like, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. complaining about doing exactly what you just did to all of us. Um, and how Andy, or I shouldn't say Andy, the, this obviously this is like post-production, where she's like, yeah, I just emailed and said, you need me on the show because your ratings suck and it's the worst show ever. And then they show the email and it's like, hey, guys. <laughs> Love the show. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> I got the tea if you want me to sell. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But I mean, I'm into it. I love it. Oh, I mean, what a great way to end the season like that. Yeah. So good. And there's still two more parts? Two more I parts? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which is very, um, like, the juxtaposition to Real Housewives of Potomac, which is just, like, the season. I think we talked about this a little bit last week. It's just such a bummer. It was such a good show, and now it just sucks, and it's like the, yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, I never moment. got into that into that one. Um, uh, I think that's all I really watch. Uh, I mean, I'm watching Grey's. Obviously, I'm watching oh, you're still into the gray. Yeah, Arizona wow. just cheated on uh, Callie, uh, Che Diaz. Someone's name is Arizona? Yeah, it's a really stupid name. Her name is Arizona Robbins, but I really like her. Okay, okay. sure it is. Do they call her Ari? She's a lesbian. Ari. No, of course, I, knew, I was just going to say, with a name like Arizona, they're going to be like, Arizona Roberts, a, a Robin lesbian. Robin, yeah. like Robin Brown. Arizona Robbins. Uh, she was cheated on Callie. Sure. They got in a plane crash and she had to get her leg amputated. And now she's mad at Callie. She, of course, they were in a plane crash. She misses her leg. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, that, I think that's it for what I'm watching. Did you watch any watch anything else? No, I just had my traders and I had uh, the trust. And then I've just been cruising, just cruising through thousands of shows that I can't find <laughs> any like sort right. of, yeah, I'm going to watch this. Um, I've dipped in and out of 90 Day Fiance, but it's just not holding mm -hmm. me anymore. I'm trying really hard. That's where I kind of fell in love with podcasting you know um i started this podcast to fill with children but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but all right. uh, yeah just not digging it just not digging it anymore all right well let's get in do you want to get into some brown town yes please right. let's do a nice sloppy one today this is the same as last week <gasps> yes
I'm getting married. <laughs> we get married. That's so good. That's the perfect. <laughs> I'm getting married. Shit, you're going to have to play this episode because I don't have my phone. Oh, okay. Can you do that? It's on Discovery. Oh, oh I'll, wow. I'll just to it. Must be nice, Discovery. You just roll on in whenever you want to put up new episodes. And when you don't, you don't. Yeah, the tell alls and the talkbacks are all on there too now, by the way. <gasps> they are? Yeah. Now that everyone's already dropped Discovery out of their subscriptions, they've decided to fix the problem. Um, oh, I just oh. have I just have talkback one and two. I don't know how to look backs, but hey, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, do we have any Brown Town news or anything? I don't think there's a lot of news, but there's something that somebody posted on our Facebook. They took this from another group, but um, it's this rumor that I love and it's basically i mean it's not really surprising but it's just the, a rumor that has been circulating through um brown town uh is uh, from like other people people that knew robin and cody way back in the day that apparently they had been like having an affair for like a whole year and then mary found out and then Co they like kind of the theory is that they kind of manipulated robin into think mary they manipulated Mary oh, into okay. thinking like, oh, you had to do it this. This was good. And so the whole. She set them up. Yeah, she, it was, it, it was, <laughs> well, but according to us, Reba. 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 That's right. We're going to the Browns. We're going to meet the Browns, Robin. Uh, but uh, there's just a lot of theories that, um, is this it? Oh, no, these are all, okay, forget it. But um, one of the. One of the things, the story, like, I feel like this isn't true, but it's, like, from somebody who, like, went to their church that they, um, <laughs> Cody and Robin were caught in the bathroom at church with Cody's pants down and her, like, on her knees. Ew, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I feel like it's not me. true, but, like, I love that kind of, <laughs> like, that's hilarious. Ew. With a stupid I don't think like Robin like, does that. I don't think Robin does it. Oh, well, her and Cody kiss during this episode, and it's one of the most, like, awful things you'll ever watch in your life. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to be like, it made me pretty horny. I better call 75 back over here. It's just, No, okay. it's just very non-sexual. It's just like, oh, or kissing. Kissing. Daddy put it in me. Ew, gross. <laughs> okay, so. gross. Oh. Oh, I just want to say thank you, Gina, for the super sticker. Thank you, Gina. Your your mom is originally from Gina, right? Oh, no, oh, that's Re Regina. 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 Yes. That's it's right. pronounced that's right. Regina. Uh, now I got a couple of Mary things here. Um, Mary, <laughs> I sent this to you for Mary. Mary, she wrote a birthday list of things that she oh. wanted. Oh, <laughs> pretty wild. It's my friend. Woo! Uh, she Ooh, wants. Okay. Uh, number one is birthday dinner with a great guy. Birthday dinner date with a great guy. She calls seventy five. He seems uh, available. Well, that could be Mosby. So. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, number two is skydiving. A huge leap there between one and two, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Birthday dinner or mm, skydiving. Um, a massage, continued health, fun surprises. <laughs> continued health? Ugh. Get out of here. Get out with the continued health. Remember when she mysteriously lost 30 pounds in a week? <laughs> and she had no idea sure. why. Sure. Again, um, not faulting her, but somehow her jeans look tighter in that episode than they've ever been. And she dropped 30 pounds in two weeks. Uh, okay. Number six is exciting announcements. Uh, okay. Um, number seven is an amazing supportive team like Jen and Joelle. Ah, Joelle. It's quite a team. <laughs> um, She's the problem. It's her. <gasps> number nine oh. is visit greece oh angie k um oh i'm greek no number 10 go on a cruise number 11 visit san francisco number 12 visit canada <gasps> oh i didn't even read this yeah i just took a wow. screenshot yeah. uh number 13 climb mount um tippa tippa 
Uh, fine. There's a whole nother. Mary, list. we've seen how tight your jeans are. You're not hiking any mountain. Okay. Tipano Tipanogos. Climb Mount Tipanogos, I think is how that is. Uh, 14, scuba diving. 15, snorkeling. I feel like that's pretty lateral. I don't see Mary underwater. <laughs> like, I feel like she would emerge looking like, like, benicula, but wet. Like, there just be, like a very wet. She would look like Amber dog. Portwood, like crying because <laughs> mascara would just be everywhere and eyeliner. Um, learn to throw pottery, uh, paint more. Oh, those, what? Pic those pictures you more. Made. Let me see what you've already painted. Paint more, <laughs> paint more. She's like um, George Bush, she's painting in the bathtub with, with her banana in her, what? In her mouth. Just painting. George Bush, what are you talking about? Did George, George Bush? Paint Bush. George W. Him? Bush. Remember, like he took up painting after he retired from the presidency. Mm, I did not know what? that. Babe. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I didn't find know a that right now, babe. Okay, okay. We'll throw it up. Um, uh, write a book is number nineteen. Oh, seems like that maybe should oh. be one or two. Yeah, and also like, <laughs> you don't say. You yeah. dropped enough clues before. Oh. Like, um, find ways to encourage and empower others. Number twenty-one <laughs> is. Pedicure. What? <laughs> These are just kind of all over the place. She's climbing a mountain and then there's a pedicure on the list. Um, spa day. Pedicure. Visit ice castles in Utah. Didn't they go there? Didn't Jen Shaw and Heather go there? And yes! Jen Shaw like slid down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They sure did. Now nope. here's here's the real reason why I even posted this. But number 24 out of 25 is half Jen. <laughs> Jen, what? pretend to be no. a newscaster on no. Friday with Friday. <laughs> I can't even imagine how funny that would be. <laughs> Cut to the camera. And now, back to you, Mary. <laughs> Let the good times roll. I'm like, right. <laughs> it's me, Get just Jen. Report <laughs> From the news oh, she wouldn't even be able to get through the first sentence. Um, and then number 25 oh. is do this is number 25. Do lemon shots on Friday with friends. End of list. Okay, well, you could just cross that right off because there's about 16 of them <laughs> in your turvis tumbler, Mary. We're not dumb. Jesus, do lemon shots. What off of Jen, maybe? Okay, so here, George Bush. <laughs> Oh, I How did you not this. know that he took a painting? It's like a I, whole thing. Remember when he was like uh, president? The most hated, well, that, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. when he was like the most hated villain alive, and now everyone's like, yeah, he's fine. Remember when Kanye went on like stand up to cancer or something, and he was like, <laughs> George Bush does not care about black people. Cut to him. Like in the Oval Office with Trump. Okay, we're not going to get political, but my, my, how the, how the, um, what is it? How the turns have tabled. Yeah, how the turntables. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm really having oh. a great time. I feel like when we have bad days before going yep. on live, we, we end up having a much better time because we just both don't care. <laughs> um, okay. Oh Deanne, you're killing me. No way Mary is climbing anything besides the lunch. Aw. Same. Same. Ugh. Papa John's had a two for one special the other day, so I obviously like, I, I would be losing money. Okay, this money. is so weird. You just said that. Okay, no, this is this is breaking shoes, if you will. <laughs> How excited are you? How excited are you? <laughs> so crazy. weird you said that because what was it on? Oh, I don't know. Whatever. The other night, um, uh, my guy Adam and Paige and I were like, let's like order something. It's going to be a cold weekend. We'll get like pizza, and then we can eat it for the next couple days, right? Well, <laughs> well. I mean, that's obviously there was <laughs> just say. half a piece left. Right. That... <laughs> uh, and we did get an extra large just between he and I, but whatever. Um, okay, so I go on Papa John's. We decide we want Papa John's because Paige is a big fan of the chicken Parmesan bites. Ew. Just throwing it out there. It sounds disgusting. I won't eat them. Whatever. Um, so I'm like, okay, the three things. Chicken Parmesan bites, sausage pizza, a, a large sausage pizza, and an extra large onion green pepper olive. Okay. I love yes. onion green pepper olive. That's like my favorite. I know pizza. you That's do. What I thought. Because it's like we're the same person. Okay. Just guess the total. 
three items. That's it. $67. No. Seventy seventy three dollars and change. And I was like, what in the world is going on? Like, there's no way. Close. So, of course, Paige turns into little Jody's like, it's okay, Mom. Like, I'll just be hungry. You don't need it. I- I'm sorry. And I'm like, no, no, no. Let's break this out. Now, thank God I Googled the coupon code, got 25% off. Okay. But it was still, with delivery and tip, it was like $54. Like, that is, that's insane for Papa John's pizza. It's highway robbery, as my mom would say. Daphne. It is. It was, <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. And, of course, as I'm, like, complaining the whole way, even though I got 25% off, um, I, I still, I'm like, that. that's the last time I'm ever ordering from Papa John's. That's outrageous what they're asking people, right? But it was very good. Like that, that I mean, crust pizza. with the garlic and the butter. Oh, oh yeah. Yum. I got ranch um, marinara on the side, too. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, Jan- Janelle post. Oh, wait. Let's, well, let's stick with Mary. Just to post about her new puppy. Oh, people were just saying the name Arizona. She named her puppy Zona. Yeah. I mean, she's cute. After Grey's Anatomy. What kind of dog is that? Um, she looks like a mix. Cute. Aw, good for Mary. Am I frozen? Uh, yes, yes, oh. you are. Okay. Um, great. Um, let's. Uh, I just wanted you... to say now this. If I can say very quickly. Uh-huh. Oh no, 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 I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Go ahead. No, I'm frozen, so I can't even touch anything right now. Oh, okay. Maybe just like stop your cam and then come back. Up. Oh. Um. So I found out. Um. I never, like, have seen any actual movies. Um, So my daughter Paige wanted to watch Fight Club. She watched it, and what she thought was going to be the twist ending that, um, like, Brad, uh, someone dies or Brad Pitt dies or something. I've never seen the movie. I just learned there's a little twist. There's more to the movie than just There's, like, three twists in it. Well, I just learned of it because I had never actually seen the movie. And now I kind of want to because it sounds pretty good. Spoiler alert. He had multiple personalities, guys. Yes. And I think, like, humans were being made into soap. Wait, what? Yeah, there's something with soap and, like, humans. What? In the movie, they made people out of... Yeah, you can see. And then there's a picture of Brad Pitt's dick in one, like, <gasps> single camera shot. Ooh. Apparent. Allegedly. Oh. Oh, no, don't it... talk about Fight Club. Okay, got it. Oh, I know okay. that's the thing. Like, don't talk about it. Um, But I thought it was interesting because Edward Norton is in that movie, right? Right. And yeah. he's also in another movie, like, the only other non-scripted movie that I probably saw in that, like, decade. American History Where X. he put. What is it? American History X? I don't know, but he he ends up being a guy who is like, he's on trial or something, and he says that oh, he's yeah, insane, yeah. and then yeah. he's actually like pretending at the end. Yeah. Whatever that was, that was good. I used to have an obsession with um, looking up, um, actually, I know exactly what day this was of my life. I, I, I was like on a, re- I was on a return flight home to Canada and it was cold. So my second flight got canceled and I got stuck at some airport for like a hundred hours. And I spent the entire time just looking up like biggest twist endings of every movie and TV show ever. Primal fear. Okay. Okay. Primal fear. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, like I know all the twist endings of every movie and TV show ever. I don't think that would ruin it for me, honestly. Like, I would feel less confused during it because I'm always confused during a movie. Yeah, Can somebody uh, uh, let me know if I'm crazy and uh, I made up the soap thing? There's something with soap. No, no, no. People are saying that. Oh, okay, great. They made soap out of the fact that they got out of the dumpster of a plastic surgeon's office. It was like liposuction or something. Okay. So I was right about the soap and I was right about Hugh Jackman. (laughs) And I'm with Auntie um, Krista here. We're going to need the timestamp for the alleged dick sighting. I actually don't know that, but I'm dick. sure that is easily Googleable. Google? What is Google that site? Google. That's, that's like, um, oh my gosh, everyone's got to know this. It was like 90s, early 2000s, where it was like um, skinflick.com or something like that. Right? Someone will. Oh, someone will say thank it. you, <laughs> Mel Mitch, for the super sticker. Jody, you can use that same 25% off coupon over and over. Past experience. Thank you. 
is uh, Mel Mitch? I, I was are you still related? Is this, is, is, is this? Could this possibly be Mike Mitchell? My uh, sorry, seventy five, but Mike Mitchell is my um, <laughs> is my greatest of all time. Um, Your celebrity okay, so crush. My my celeb crush. <laughs> you called in. And then Mike, and, wrote, and then uh, uh, Weiger it said, was my birthday. "Do you know what a celebrity is?" Uh, no, Jody Weiger didn't say oh, that. No. Evan Susser, oh, no. the commish, said oh, that. Um, <laughs> sorry, was that an example of me being a total bitch to Jody? Um, okay, no. let's. Uh, <laughs> here, this is what uh, Janelle okay, yeah, posted. Let's get to it. <laughs> so let, let's break this down. Go ahead and read it. You're, you're, you do the best, Janelle. I saw this yesterday at Epcot. Caleb always <laughs> telling us how dangerous escalators can be. This is wild. Those are Crocs with shredded toes. So when it says wash your step, they mean it. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? There's a pair of tie-dye Crocs, just tippy toes <laughs> akin though, with yeah. shredded, just sucked right into that thing. Now, you know what this reminds me of immediately? Well, I was just going to say, Red what we three, all, anyone born in the 80s three, are two, two, one. 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 Rescue nine one one when the Canadian boy got sucked into the escalator. not just Canadian the Calgary boy it was a uh, Carling's uh Carling's actual stop we actually ah. covered that on uh, an episode of TRP and it's pretty funny <laughs> yeah and pretty much his mom should have allegedly been arrested for child neglect because she was on the payphone for about thirty minutes, just chit chatting, while her yeah. son was being sucked into a machinery, and while wearing a tracksuit. Oh, slickers, slicks! That's what my mom called them. Her slicks, her slicker suit. But that's what we all think about when we think of escalators, right, or anything like this. Anyone? anyone oh, who I was born in the night. In still Rusty to this day, I there. jump over. I jump over the beginning and I jump over the end. I tell my kids, "Big step." That's what we always do. And I oh, hold yeah. their hand. Yep. Still, as teenagers, I go, "Big step." And and hold their hands. They're not going down on my watch. No, no. I don't think Thank I've even you, been on an escalator since I shattered my ankle, but I wonder how, like, I feel like I would get sucked under because I wouldn't be able to get off in time. <laughs> like, yeah, you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to shift your weight to your good leg about three seconds before getting off, and then you're just going to have to, like, hop on one foot over it. There's no if you're hopping. going up. <laughs> okay. If oh. you're going down. Down is scarier. Down is terrifying. Okay, this is what I recommend if you're going down. When you have about a third of the way left, you start walking down the steps with so the that you just exit. At, yeah, 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 yeah. You just go with the momentum until you're off. Well, I don't really go anywhere, so I don't think I really have to worry about this. I have missed like, 500 just... comments. Or you could just avoid the mall altogether. <laughs> Why and not be know? a right. massive depressive. Yeah. Someone just gave us a super sticker. Thank you. Who was it? Thank you, Becky. Becky. She's okay. asking what our PayPal info was, so I threw it up there. Yeah, YouTube. Okay, great. Uh, um, okay, I think that's it. Oh, wait. Uh, Mary the dog, Janelle that. Uh, what is this? This is something. Oh, this is. Oh, this is just. Uh, this is an emergency alert for the hyper cold temperatures and oh that's so cute it's in french oh <laughs> and, I, and you can see i was listening to oh. our crossover with surviving <laughs> it's mortifying okay um <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get into this episode but um really quickly let me talk about um what we have going on next week because it's a big okay. one and everyone's being so cool like and like on top of their shit with this um we have do you have the list of people oh my goodness well we have surviving sister wives uh, or surviving sister wives we have um ace and caitlin we have resting bitch face we have seventh heaven we have cara Sur berry cara berry surreality podcast oh surreality cara pod yeah who did i miss Ace and Caitlin surviving sister wives. Oh, I feel like we have missed someone. Oh, uh, no. Jean. Jean's going to call oh, in. Jean. Boots yes. on the ground is calling in. I'm so sorry if I forgot someone here. I just, I can't get my notes on this freaking computer. Um, but and I'm sorry, everyone, just so you know, the chat is lit with people being terrified of escalators and everyone knows who's escalator boy is. Obviously. Like, everyone is terrified and of us. By the way, the reenactment on that thing is like, I don't know. That kid's probably still oh, has like, traumatic stress from that. I have 
post-traumatic stress that. from watching the reenactment. It was like, terrifying. I think his arm was actually un- like in there. It was I don't horrifying. know how they faked it. <laughs> yeah. God. Did we um, look up? Did we follow through and look up to see where they actually are today? I think we did. Oh, and it's on TRP. It's on it's on the actual Patreon of TR Pod. Those are the best. Pod. Please recommend old Rescue 911s. They do not disappoint. <laughs> we had the we kid? Did you know what I, you know what I mean. He put his tongue in the freezer for some reason, and his tongue got t- attached to like an ice block. And so, like the his little sister has to like hand him a phone, and he's like, <laughs> "It's like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am." All down, he's ma'am. like, "I'm not a woman. I'm a boy." <laughs> Oh, so good. Anyway, anyway, on our on our big crossover extravaganza, we're also gonna have a little segment in there where Robin and um Robin and Cody are gonna have a little conversation right in the middle there. Um a- oh, aka oh. Ace and um Ace of Ace and Caitlin and Corey of Corey and Carly. They're gonna yep. there, there's more plans than that that I'm not even gonna give away. Um, but it's going to be epic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like That's hilariously good. epic. I feel that like it? my um, first thought catonic in probably months is like it's hitting you. Yep, yep. All right. Um, I'm. I, I feel like I need to get my phone, so I'll be back in one second. I'm gonna go okay. downstairs. Uh, but just, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Nope. Let's do it. All right. Um. Okay. So old rescue nine one one. I think we just googled uh rescue 911 episodes and i'm telling you even if you don't i mean subscribe of course for our uh total request podcast but even if you don't just go and google them they are so funny just the the production quality is so poor and all of these people talking about their past experiences you know it's like early 90s late 80s so everyone just looks so busted and so dated it's hilarious um okay, let's see oh no everyone has these horrible horror stories of escalators julia my grandmother once told me a story about her almost falling down an escalator and my grandpa caught her but to this day i'm terrified of escalators thanks grandma uh yeah a hundred percent also teeth. you know what you also need to watch is um look under your car whenever you're getting in your car because someone can grab your ankles oh yeah yep you fight back you fight back yeah that's or you just give them what you want and never go to a second location never Never. go to a second location jaw d um While all of that happened and my phone was downstairs, my dad messaged me that my battery's fine, the lights work, so something else is the matter. Great. And my mom messaged, okay. texted me, um, I need to hear the story and see the video about the goose hitting the amusement ride. I was in stitches laughing when Jody mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> Daphne said that? Yeah, she's watching. <laughs> oh, Daphne was in stitches. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Oh, I would Just love l- to see Daphne watching an old Rescue 911, Amanda. Oh, I would love to see her watching Fabio getting hit in the face with a goose. <laughs> and him having to, like, pull the goose off. Because <laughs> I feel like that would only happen to you, me, or Fabio. Like, it's the only Just randomly on the Fabio. planet that would happen to. Yeah. Or maybe Janelle. And Janelle would be like, yeah, it's fine. Oh God! Oh, who Shit knew? happens. Too bad. He's a beautiful bird. He's beautiful. He's <laughs> you gorgeous. win some, you lose some. You know. Gorgeous. Right. I mean, we're really in their space. You know. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, right. oh. Okay. Um, okay. So, am I playing or are you playing? Um, I can play it, but let me just close out Brown Town really quickly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get married and yes indeed she is oh, definitely getting that. married uh yeah my mom will my mom will come over one day and just i love it hi. i love a daphne the daphne experience the daphne experience that's what she, that we got a lot of escalator comments hey no i'm telling you like people are terrified <laughs> of escalators i've heard elevators all horror too. stories at least the land metro you just, oh. just need to take the stairs and then remember, there was that 
there was the test at the time, the Lamb Elisa. The Lamb Elisa test. Do you guys all know who Elisa Lam is? Because that video is one of the most horrifying things you'll ever see. It is so eerie. I mean, she obviously had like a mental she break. She just had a mental break, like, yes. Yeah, no one was following her, whatever, but like that story. But if you go into watching that video with um, thinking that it, it's paranormal, it's pretty freaky. Well, it's freaky either yeah. way. Because she's like, yeah. she thinks she's being followed. She's like hiding. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right, do you want to go ahead and... um? read the the scripts oh i sure do right. christine and david part two <laughs> christine brown and david <laughs> woolly are getting married in a lavish ceremony set against the red cliffs of a utah desert and you are invited Christine will finally get the wedding she never had when she became Cody Brown's third wife decades ago. Way to throw shade, TLC. Yes, it's like <laughs> the harshest description I've ever read. Yikes. Ouch. Yeah, it's true. Zing. Right. I am at one minute and 16 seconds. I've skipped the intro because we just need to get right into Brown Town. You got it. Let's go. Three, two, one one oh God, I, know I'm, I, I know i'm gonna cry it's i'm getting married god isabel smoke show Today is my uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just excited. I feel like we've been building up for this and working so hard for this. But now I just get to sit back and enjoy. And I'm really excited. Just so excited. Okay. How is going with 10? How, how many people are going to see you naked? Um, <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm paused. Who, yeah. who just asked that? Um, I think it was Aspen. But I the reason that I just paused is to warn you that McKelty is insufferable in this episode now i know that that's not oh, shocking but like no. more so than yes or last week's episode oh no okay like, she needs prepare to myself go away yes and also another thing i just want to spoil really quickly because it was my favorite moment of the episode is when christine says something like along the lines of it's like a talking head and she's like i love all 13 of my children <laughs> so she completely was not referencing like, it's Janelle's six kids, her six kids, and Leon. Thirteen. I was like, "Whoa!" Whoa. I mean, I mean, go away, Aurora. Yeah, like Solomon and Dayton, Sorry, Aurora. you didn't want to come around. That's your own fault. And also, you're adults. Bye bye. You could be <laughs> reaching out to the rest of the brown <laughs> kids, right? It, like, get out from mommy and daddy's thumb. And go yeah. and reach out if you want to talk to your oh, no. Pretty much every single person in this episode is throwing shade at Robin and Cody. They make shady comments. Like Hunter's like, God, or I think Gabe is the one. Oh, Gabe also has like seven herpes like right here. Oh, you know, like, Gabe. Robin got too close to him. But he says something along the lines of like, yeah, no, this is great. Like, I feel like the family's actually back together. Like all of the family that loves each other. Are together. Like, it's just. Oh. Listen, I'm, okay, let's go. I'm at a one minute. Oh. Okay. Second. Every out. Thank you so much. I love you all. As I walked over uh, after hanging out with all the the, the boys that are getting ready. Oh no, he's there. wearing white sunglasses. Oh god, he's, he's wearing white sunglasses. I hate it. With, like, I hate aqua it. Marine. I don't like, like it. <laughs> I don't like he's, it. He's just a dork. Like they're he, both a dorks, and it kind of just like I just kind of love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Um, like I said who's getting married because I didn't realize it was like oh crap, it's me. You want the girl? You just welcome to the package club, deal. Oh, package deal, you. man. Yep. Shut and up. I was so excited. Oh, also another spoiler: Tony never tucks in the shirt. I know we were talking about Shut that. Shut up. Week. Never gets tucked in. Okay, and that I I fault the rest of the Brown family not to be like McKelty. Go tell your husband to tuck in his shirt for the photos. Go go. I know you've lost some weight. Yeah, because you are drinking uh, Plexus and not because you're on Ozempic. Sure. But uh, it, it, you no, tuck your shirt. That's just sure. rude. That's rude. It is rude. Ugh, gross. All right. It's not your wedding. Tuck your fucking shirt in. Aww. 
Oh, I wish it fit better. I, I hate it. Everyone's saying that. It just she it looks wasn't gorgeous. Well. She doesn't look bad. It's just no. it could be more fitted. But like there was a conversation about that going on on the Facebook group. By the way, guys, go ahead and join our Facebook group. We love to hate TV. Um, I'll let yep. you in the group. Just answer the questions, even if you don't know what the answer is. So I know you're not a bot. But um, I think Jean mentioned something about that. Like, oh, I just wish the dress fit better. And I was like, I think that Christine has like chubby girl. Um, yes. Like, she, like she, she doesn't realize that like it could be tighter and it would look better. I think she just still, I mean, I mean how yeah. could you not when, you know, your it. husband I'm published in a book like... that you ate nachos on our fat. Yeah. How chubby. dare you eat? The sight. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, right. Even if you, yeah, oh, I just wish they would have fit it a little bit better. But what are you going to do at that point? I mean, she still looks stunning. Oh, it's just we totally we want, we want perfection for her. Okay, and just this whole group, like all of these girls, are so That's sweet, gorgeous. All of them. Yeah, like all of the daughters in this family are gorgeous. Even McKelty, she's annoying, but she's she's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Maddie, do you want to help us out? Oh, oh, that's like sweet. Thank you, Maddie. Yeah. I'm, I'm already praying they have some sort of updo for her reception. I don't think they do. And here's tr <laughs> truly yeah, Julie just marched in out of nowhere. And uh, I think it's a little cold in, in this room. So she's put on her... Uh, Kate. Her, Dick her Dick Tracy jacket. No, not not Kate. God love her. Her God pinstriped her. long like duster. <sighs> Thank you. I never knew that I would get this. Okay. Aww. And then just like it was. Yes. Oh, truly. Okay. Wait. That is so tender. Okay. <gasps> I feel like it's weird because Madison is in here, but Savannah is not. It's like all the daughters are there. Um, That's what Farm Girl just asked too. Where was Savannah? Or mm -hmm. Leon? Why is Leon not there? I feel like Leon's oh, good be there. point. Maybe it was just like who she truly wanted in there, and no one's gonna question it. Like who well, are you comfortable she not want is in there? Savannah though. Maybe Savannah was like helping Janelle. No, her and Janelle were running late. Oh God! Of <laughs> like, course, it's hundred percent what happened. Okay. okay. Jan Janelle didn't try on her dress until the day of the wedding, and it wasn't working. So she now they're at the mall. Guys, I love that Truly's got boobs, and she's like, is she wearing a jumpsuit? I mean, it's like very sweet. We've all been in that like awkward stage where you're she's not quirky. a girl yet, not yet a woman. Oh yeah. Um, and she just kind of like nuzzled Christine's face. That was really sweet. But now let's just get some of like the grown up daughters and Christine. Right, right, right. You know? And then Avalon's walking around the room too. And it's like, can you get the baby out of there? Oh, <laughs> Although Avalon's yeah. cute. She gets a little too much cute. screen time for me. Um, mm. Okay, I'm at three minutes and two seconds. Awesome. I'm going to get married. Oh, okay. Got it. First one. Got it down. Yep. That wasn't the first one. She said it at the top of the episode too. Oh, okay. 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 We're at two. Whew. All right. We'll stay on top of that. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Megan. You look amazing, David. I'm freaking excited. Love you. Love you too. My daughters, Katie and Reagan, they're gonna walk me down the aisle. Good. Okay. Down. Yes. It was really awesome. Everybody was there, and oh, I was no wonder you and Janelle get along. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Really awesome. That's gorgeous. Oh, I know. I I love the colors. Oh. I love fall colors because that's like the only colors that look good on me. Oh, so I love like, hmm, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is really pretty. In the rain, in the sun, call my name and a rose. Okay, so right here at three minutes and 57 Aww. seconds, there's two men. Um, that's Kayla Brush. Is that Caleb? No, it is no, it? no, no. That's not Caleb. No, no. Just no, another but, bald man. No, I think it's they're related to David, maybe his sons. Um, but they're walking down David's mom, and it, the second I I watched this, and just now I thought it was truly because oh. she's just like <laughs> she's wearing the same color. I was like, why are they? 
Why are they guiding Shirley down the aisle? All right, oh. uh, let's go. Look at you. Oh, this is sweet. Oh, Christine's dead. Oh, and look at Janelle and Savannah in the audience. <gasps> Janelle fucking slay. God, Janelle looks and sexy, Savannah. hot, gorgeous. I think Savannah's the prettiest of all the kids. And they're all gorgeous. And then Gabe's oh, wait, sitting Gabe's right next his to little her. Gabe's wearing it like he looks like a like a young Benjamin Franklin. He looks like Leo Frank from a Parade. You probably don't oh, know I thought you, I, oh, I thought you were refer referencing Anne Frank's father. But I don't think his name was. Is his name Leo Frank? Uh, <laughs> I now don't I, know. But um, now, I, now I'm thinking of D.B. Cooper. All Janelle right. looks gorgeous. Oh, truly looks good too. Truly oh, cleaned truly. up. Really nice. I mean, she did. she's still the the glasses are killing me. You're she's the stepsisters in Act Two of Into the Woods. <laughs> Fine. Her transitions. It's adorable. But they're not just transitions. They're literal like three blind mice glasses. <laughs> they're too dark. I totally can't see her with like a little tapper, like a little. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. She looks she's good. so adorable. Looks good. Even Peyton. It's a moment when she come walking out and walking down. I'm like, there's my goddess, there's my queen, my unicorn. Um I couldn't Aww. I couldn't believe that this was happening. But I when I seen you, I just calmed down and it was like instant like she calms me down and and it's just magical. It's hard to describe. <laughs> Please pause. I, okay. I, ac now I accidentally listened to Ace and Caitlin this morning just because it like auto played. I think they said, "How could you possibly get more calm, David?" He's like the most. <laughs> I was just like, she like, say, blows me down. <laughs> are we catching him like when he's at like, like yeah, just what coming down from a at? bad flu? Because he's just like, "Well, I saw you." Like he's almost actually, he, he almost sounds like Corey from Teen Mom. Like move. when I saw you come down the aisle, I just thought, or like, I, did he just take I a calm? A I'm really hit? calm when I see you. Yeah. She I just, just calms like, me down. But then even Janelle said that she's like, he's just so upbeat and he's just the life of the party. And it's like, based on what? It seems like he's like missing parts of speech like he like skips yeah. some articles like a and the <laughs> it's just... but it also might be a utah thing i feel like there's like a oh, there's like a true. type of utah act like whitney has it on salt lake city so maybe it's just true. a lazy kind of true they act. do seem very happy and this kind of makes me want to get married again i'm not gonna lie i definitely don't want to get the wedding again. part <laughs> right. just for the attention <laughs> being like on me for three part. hours uh, <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, normally I would find this annoying, like the soulmate unicorn, but like when you think of it, like Christine never got this. Her yeah. first wedding sucked so much. And now she's 51 and like all of the kids are, everyone at this wedding is so happy for her because they know that she never yeah. had this at age okay. 51. Let me ask you this. When you, okay, so we're both divorced, right? Yes. When you got married... Were you thinking like, oh my God, this is perfect. I had the great day. I had the best wedding ever. Did you think that at the time? And do you think that now? Yeah. No, I loved my wedding. My wedding was awesome. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, my wedding was sick. Like Joan okay. was there. Joan was uh, one of Brad's groomsmen. Oh, oh, I want to see old pictures. Oh, I have a whole photo album. Well, Should I, I get it out now? Well, <laughs> no, um... Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> I've yeah. seen the ones that you posted on MySpace that are still there. I've accessed them quite a few <laughs> times already. We both know this. Let's not let's not play this little game like I haven't stalked your life. Because when um, I got married, I'm I'm that old that MySpace was yeah. Facebook would didn't exist yet. I saw your I, wedding shower on there. Your bridal showers is also on there. Yeah. I was so And you there. also threw a really great um wedding shower for a gay couple that you knew. You did. Oh, I didn't throw that. I just offered, oh. I was wearing a yellow dress and it was for my friends, Paul and Ben. And I offered to be the person to like give all the gifts. Like I, ah, I was the person that handed out gifts gift because I love to do that okay. because then I don't have to actually interact with anyone. Oh, so I'm like, I'm participating in an event. That's why I also always uh, 
uh, offer to uh, clean up dishes at like a Friendsgiving. Oh, keep yourself busy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was just going to say, like, I, I don't know. I feel like I need to ask more people that. Who Do you are not divorced. think that you're like, did you, you love your wedding? With, with my wedding? Yeah, did you do you know? No, it was definitely not right? like my dream wedding. Oh, okay. um, it, it was like we had like a nice wedding, but we paid for it ourselves. It was like on a budget. I I never loved my dress. I'm like, it'll do. Like I don't hate it, but I definitely didn't like love my dress or anything. Huh. Um and like the day was not like ooh, like romantic and like at all. Oh, mine wasn't. And so romantic. I just wonder. But, like, I wouldn't even say, like, oh, my God, I had the best time. It was fun. Oh, okay. Like, there was, like, things that, like, came up that were, like, oh, everything like, this is not how I dreamed of my wedding as a little girl. The only thing I hated was the pictures, like, having to take pictures. I That was, like, the only part I hated. But also, like, I feel like everyone's, every bride says this, that you, you don't even have a second to, like, eat or, like, I think I had one sip of champagne. Because you're so focused on stuff and you don't really remember. Oh, I ate the food. Oh, I don't think I had any. Oh, I definitely like ate our meal for sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm with Lexa here. Like, I want to get married again. Just she'll be like, oh, like now I know my taste. Like now I know my style. I mean, you and I were both young. Yeah. We were like 20. I was 24. I, yeah, I, I was like two weeks after I turned 25. You're just kind of like doing what the trends are like. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Um, so I love this for her that like this it truly is like her dream wedding. I love and this. she is so happy. Like, yeah. yes, Christine can be annoying, but like I can give it to anyone on their wedding day. You're allowed to be annoying. What, yeah. As much as I don't believe in love, I will always cry at a wedding and I'll cry at a birth. Oh, I mean, birth, forget it. I, I, and I hate think babies of more than love. Birth. <laughs> oh, God. And like, once you have your own baby and you know that emotion, forget it. But anyway, um, I yeah, no, I, I, I totally would do another <laughs> wedding just for the wedding. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> right, I'm at uh, four minutes and 46 seconds. That's, that's as far, how far we are in now. <laughs> Our relationship and how we work. Um, there's just a major connection that I, I can't explain. Um, I love this song, whatever man. this song is. I really like it. Yeah. Oh. I said goosebumps everywhere. Oh, that's now, sweet. I definitely, I cried at that too, but then I think, again, Ace and Caitlin were like, yeah, Caitlin definitely waited for the exact moment where the camera was right. So it makes it less cute. But like, you know what, though, whether he did that or not, that meant something to Christine. Yes. Whether it was for says, the cameras or not. And like having not to, I, I'm, I swear to God, I'm like not trying to make this all about me. Like I try to like not talk a lot about like my personal <laughs> shit, um, but it really is like someone having kids. And like when you see your kids, like really see in the person, like what you see and they see such a difference of like, oh, mom is really happy now. Yeah. Like, okay. Now I'm going to like cry, but like, oh like no, this is, is we're only five like, minutes I've never in. seen you, you going laugh so much, mom. Like Oh my right. god! Like you never laughed like that before. You're so happy, and like the, well, wait, it that really doesn't make sense does... to me though, because your ex-husband's interests are comedy. So, right. we, um, but that does like it really like no matter how you're feeling when you see like your kids see something, it totally changes. It like it it adds to like the depth of it. Right. Or like confirm um, something. It's a good confirmation for her to hear as she's walking down the well, aisle. It's going to, it's really going to go more emotional from here. So I'm at five minutes oh, and six great. seconds. Great. Okay. I'll I shut mean, up. You okay. were both going to cry. No, you don't have to okay. shut up. Okay. All right. So now Caden is handing Christine off to Rex for five. As soon as I turned the corner, it was like, again, just like, a breath of fresh air and there was the love of my life and this is everything that i've wanted for so long oh we're dead all old it's so sad oh, well, like, you, yeah. it's a wonderful man. Thanks, Daddy. you guys are gonna love each other yeah i got a little emotional when rex took christine's arm i don't know why He's always just been a huge advocate for our faith. And I think it's wonderful that he's here with Christine who has chosen to do something different 
and he's still part of this wedding and it just it feels right if he was upset with her choice or whatever it would be hard but he's not he's here oh can we also mention at this point while Janelle is talking about how Rex still showed up, even though this is against his faith. Uh, hey, Gwendolyn, you are going to regret this for the rest of your freaking life. I can't believe she was there. Like, no, um, you know, college test or whatever it was that she was busy and she, she was taking like, like she was in like chemistry, she was, which is a hard class. I'm okay, sure. Okay, but listen, it's not like you're it's your mom sat or you're taking the bar or something like that where you truly. <sighs> I honestly don't even think taking the LSATs or the bar would be an excuse to miss your mother's wedding. I just, I can't imagine what would have to happen for me to skip my mother's wedding. And one that's being like recorded for worldwide distribution. Yeah. And I don't think we've had like any sort of confirmation, but everyone's kind of talked about. Um, it's because Peyton was there that she decided to invite. I think Peyton. that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Oh, you don't think it's true? Well, no, because they were both at. Um, they were all. They were. They all attended. Was it Leon's wedding or Logan's wedding? Um, her and Peyton have been at like a, they attended a wedding last year at the same time. Is what I'm saying. Hmm. And you know what? You're both adults. Peyton. I don't think Peyton even cares. Peyton. Yeah, like, it's one thing if it's your wedding, but like you. You should also be open-minded enough. Like if that's what you want is to be people open-minded, like open-minded enough to be able to be in the same share space with someone right? and be an adult about it. If that's the case, I mean, we could just be like, you know, speculating here, but oh, I'm so happy. I want to know what she actually walked down to though. I know everyone's talking about that because they obviously had to use like copyright free music. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, just Aww. so sweet. And her dad seemed, it's just so cool to kind of see all these members of her family that you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm at uh, six minutes and 10 seconds. Oh, they like nuzzle. Thanks, baby. Oh, this is your <laughs> I mean, Jeff, if I ever get married again, will you sing? Um, what do you want me to sing? Can let I sing like sweetheart? Play, sweet? Yes, other than yes, done. Yes. Okay. And with a um, and then second part, I'll sing um, uh, wait, what is the bread song? The, the one from Coco. I would give everything <gasps> bread. What wait wait what what did you just say? The one the one that Christine actually sang to McKelty that isn't royalty free from oh, um, um, it wasn't from Coco. I love Book you of too Life. much. I love you too much. Again, and then you and the I favorite. actually share Trace Leche's cake and we do like the like, <laughs> like feeding each, uh, feeding each other. I told the story about when, cause my, my best friend from college, Jenny, um, she always wanted me to like, her request was for me to sing at her wedding, like no matter what, but I was doing a production of suds in Florida when she got married. So I sent her and again, this was like 2012 or earlier it was before like recording devices were good so i recorded yeah. myself singing at last and oh. but then her mom i sent it to her mom like as a surprise like oh play this for jenny because her she always wanted me to sing at her wedding so yeah. play this for, for their first dance which is what <gasps> it was supposed to be so instead her mom sets it up i think she just did this to be hilarious but um she took the song and then put a clip show together of just pictures of me and Jenny. So in the middle of Jenny's wedding, there was just here's this bitch who's not even here. who's not even here. We don't know and who here's she a is. Real of the two of them together oh throughout the years that the husband was not featured in. Oh my god! That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Well, could you and I do a first dance? We'd be um, like you. We, it'd be like Night at the Roxbury. Me, you, 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 me, you, you, me, you. <laughs> yeah, but I, it would have to be a very slow dance because of my ankle. You'd be holding me up the whole time. <laughs> we we do about like just I don't know a couple lyrics. Be like, I, I, we're all good, okay? Yeah, I'm we're, good. we're good. We're, we're good. <laughs> I really love to sit. <laughs> all right, I'm at uh, six thirty. Six minutes thirty seconds. Sorry. Thank you. When I was first called and uh, asked to officiate the 
wedding. I was so excited that I finally made it as the favorite in-law until I realized Aww. that uh, Dave just wanted the shortest in-law to help look a little bit taller. Now, this guy is a short king, just like 75. And uh, I love that 75 is already a recurring character on our podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he is. This guy definitely, like, he immediately was like, I need to just acknowledge that I'm very short. <laughs> And right. I mean, this is a lot of pressure for an officiant or like a best man doing a speech or something later. You're this not is televised. Yeah. yeah, this is. This and no is one rough. knows who you are. It's not like he's like a friend of or something. Right. Oh, this is a hard job. I'm kidding. Having such a big part of you guys is special. Day is such a you can tell, pause. Like Sorry. <laughs> you can tell he wrote that in his speech. I'm kidding. Now let's move on to this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's enough of that. <laughs> on to the next part of this. I mean, already though, we're um what eight seconds into his speech, and already he's doing a better job than Cody did at Maddie and Katie. Oh, God. Kiss her, right. kiss, her. kiss her good. Oof. Also, let I'll, I'm gonna forget about uh the rings the entire ring ceremony. So we'll just do oh, it. Oh right. And afterwards. all COVID protocols. Yeah. Our post, our picture, and feel like you know someone's whole life. But I know not everyone here today knows how truly special and unconquerable these two souls are. Here we are, such a beautiful day, and such a in front of a beautiful couple, showing the world that they cannot be knocked down. Not I have known now. Dave for years. David Woolley is someone that you David hear Woolley. about before you're even blessed meeting. He's a guy that would wake up early and plow the driveway for a single mother before he went to work. Okay. Or despite losing his wife, being left alone with eight kids and working long days. He would come home, skip dinner, and help reconstruct the house to be wheelchair accessible. accessible. Oh, he said sexable by accident. But um, <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he did. Uh, oh. wheelchair sexable. You know that he was like, Damn yeah, it. he is. Damn it. Yeah. Um, also, all of that sounds like really good stories that he. I feel like he needed to expand upon those because I'm like, what? He's plowing yeah. a driveway for like some single mother, and then he's like building a wheelchair sexable ramp for someone. Yeah. Um, like this kind of sounds like a eulogy, not a wedding officiating <laughs> thing, which is like, which is very difficult. I'm not saying I could do it any better, but like this really is a hard job this guy's got. Oh, yes. <laughs> Meg says he's it. Jacob, the bar mitzvah boy from SNL. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Oh my God, Meg, Good. you nailed it. Look that up. Uh, Vanessa Bayer, right? At SNL? Yeah. So funny. She's hilarious. That's so true. Look at your Um, I'm at seven minutes thirty-three seconds. Because his neighbor had just become paralyzed from the waist down. That's the man that Dave is. So no one's more perfect to be his better half than our Queen Christine. What's a She's queen? A queen. I don't like the queen he, thing. Can, no, but I think you can tell he watches the show. Because because remember how everyone just kind of referred to her all of last year as like Queen Christine. I think that. I think that he's aware of that. And and it gets revealed yeah. later that the whole family did know who Christine was, like, from the beginning. It's kind of gets creepy. I guess I'm just not, like, a queen goddess. Like, I don't want to be called a queen or a goddess, but that's just, like, me personally. Like, I'd be like, yeah. let's ixnay on the inque. Yeah. Now, Julia Elizabeth said, according to Ace, the wheelchair ramp was for Gypsy Rose, which, mm. now, I want to address this because I actually had that thought and I'm like, oh, I'm going to make that joke tomorrow. And then I listened to them this morning. And I was like, damn it, Ace. <laughs> a gyps- <laughs> yeah. A- address the gypsy rose in the room, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. He took my joke. <laughs> All right. Um, 7.43. Kind, loving, caring mom. Who'd send a birthday text or a Father's Day text. So sweet. Bring the tears to your eye. And nothing highlights Christine's heart better than the story told by her daughter, Isabel. Oh. Whenever I had troubles or frustrations with friends when I was younger, my mom would always say, maybe they're going through something hard too, and they just need a little more kindness. I feel like Dave and Christine's love for each other is so pure, not just with each other or life, but with everyone around them. I'd like to invite everyone here today that as we proceed with the ring ceremony, and as we leave this weekend, that we take time to line everyone's day around us, that we decide to be a light in someone else's life, and that we give the love Everyone feels when they're with Dave and Christine. Oh, that's sweet. I would say it's not time to join hands, but you guys are already doing it. So you guys are already ahead of them. <laughs> Dave, do you take Christine in front of these witnesses today at, as your wife, as you cherish her talents and embrace her flaws? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a fly on his head. 
It's the Mike Pence fly. <laughs> wait, no, wait. <laughs> Oh my god! Wait, who, what did you wait? What did you just say? Did you say it's Mike the Pence? Mike Pence fly. Remember the fly yeah, that landed on his head said, during yeah. the presidential? I was trying debates? to think of what the name was. Yeah, I mean that was fun. Again, that's not me being political. It's the same as Giuliani accidentally no, saying that he was going to do hilarious. Forcing. Like, how do you not there was address a fly that? crawling around his head for like minutes? And it didn't <laughs> fly away. I would laugh if that was like Michelle Obama and there was a fly yeah. on her head. Oh, it's for hilarious. Like, crawling all over her like sick bicep and tricep. <laughs> like, be like, there's a fucking fly on her lats. Like, can we? Can we... Right. These witnesses today, as your husband, Aww. as you will cherish his talents and embrace his flaws. With all my heart, yes. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's now time uh, to exchange rings. Oh, oh, truly just oh, bound it all. Thank you. You deserve the best, mother. Thank you. <gasps> now, that was very, um, it was cute, but also very, like, psycho. Like, the movie Psycho. You like, deserve mother. this, mother. You deserve, Aww. you deserve the best, mother. She's, yeah, but she's playing a role. She's McKelpie. Sire. Sire. That's like, like McKelpie. She, yeah, she, McKelpie. she is in, like, Renaissance Fair. Mm. Yes. Mm. Ooh, top of the morning. Milady. <laughs> the rings, my lady. Yeah. No, she's you deserve it. the best mother. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to Thank take these so rings as a constant reminder Thank for you love I for each other. Tr truly wanted to stay up there for a, for a little oh, yeah, longer yeah, than she yeah. needed to be. Yeah. She's like, let me give both of you a hug. I'll hug the officiant. Yeah. I'll hug the short king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought you said something to the officiant. Oh, did you meet? Oh, oh wait, no, do, do oh, you want? Okay. I, I can, I can just stand right oh, Sorry, here. sorry. I just thought he said something. If you, <laughs> I'll be over here. Oh. No problem. Oh, did she just do a? <laughs> oh yeah, no, she made. All she took her moment. Her <laughs> like, like Mary Catherine Gallagher, like it was, was like. very superstar, very superstar. Yeah. But I mean, it's truly she got a little moment. You know, yeah, yeah. take it. I, exactly. She hugs him before, but right there in front of everybody, she showed that she accepted him Aww. and loved him. <laughs> I want you guys to. Uh, uh, take these rings as a constant reminder for you guys as love for each other and the commitment you guys have made for today. Okay, okay. Now he's just curious. like slacking. I'm gonna need a little more energy from the officiant. He just, yeah, he's, he's, he's he's a, he got a little too confident there. Oh my God. <laughs> Christine and David, by the power vested in me by the state of Utah, I am pleased to finally join these two soulmates and pronounce you husband and wife, still together both in law and in love. Dave, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Oh, did he just put his leg up? Yeah. I didn't like, like that, babe. Dork. I also didn't love the open mouthness of the kiss. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna jump back 10 seconds because I need to take it in Let's again. It. Yeah, okay. it's kind it's very like <sighs> home. Home. <sighs> okay. All right, I, I'm Let's at uh, 10 minutes exactly, right? Oh, okay. Okay, let's do this together both in law and in love dave you may now kiss the bride <laughs> now the highest honor of introducing for the first time it gets, it gets worse and more horny later by the way <laughs> i did not like that leg at all i don't, I don't like it i went and fall in and kissed him all i could think was finally finally wow. right. chanel's face too was like wow oh my <laughs> wowza <laughs> A woman always lives her leg. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it because it's no. the most magical moment. So I lift with my leg. I mean, okay, it's, but you know what? It's perfect. It's Christine. Yeah, it's perfect. It's Christine's guy. It's perfect. Hey, the guys could do it too. I didn't even know. Yeah. Until after he's like, I pop my ball. Oh, and Christine is tickled by this. And you know oh, that they're going to tell it. that popping of the leg story at every Thanksgiving for the rest of their lives. Oh, it's in a photo that's like above their bed, above their fireplace. It'll probably be like their Christmas card, which is cute for them. Like, it's not my thing, but it's perfect for Christine and him. Yeah, it's, it's the cute. caramel story, but with Christine and David. Exactly. <laughs> you should see what David did at our wedding. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. Maggie Balls nailed it. It's like watching your parents kiss. Right. You're like, oh, good for them. It's adorable. They're in love. But I just don't, yeah, like, I don't like want to see all of it. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen my parents kiss. <laughs> ever. Not once. Like, <laughs> weird. Ever. Both of our parents are married. Well, we were like later teen years. <laughs> weird. <laughs> Strange. Who knew? Who knew? Like, what? <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, I love this for them. Oh, where's her bouquet? You had one oh, job, Aspen. Oh, 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 Isabel's trying to hand it over right there. <laughs> Everything's happening too fast and nobody knows what to do. So Isabel, yep, like, yep. he's like, no, no, Isabel, just stay, just stay. Don't, don't jump yeah, in. Yeah, Mama Squirrel says tongues akimbo. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, if I could just bring this up, because um, so Goddess Godiva says, you can tell Christine was starved for affection and intimacy. So was mm -hmm. David after his, after his wife died. Intimacy on a whole new level without the focus of childbearing. Love that for them. That is so Aww. perfectly put. Thank you for writing that. That is like so true. Like it is, you're not getting married for the purpose of like starting life, like grown up life together. You're together just because right. you like each other. Yeah, and, and you're done with all the hard stuff. I mean, there's still the yep. you still have to raise truly for a few more years, so that's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna be trying. Yeah, but you know what? I don't know if it's gonna be trying. I think it's gonna be they're gonna go in bed at night and they're just gonna laugh. Yeah, they're like, gonna be like, she's so fucking weird, man. <laughs> You'd be like, hey guys, can you tone it down because they're doing like LARPing in the basement, like her and her high school friends after tech crew yeah, rehearsal. <laughs> Yep, duct tape on the wrist of Kimbo. Oh, right. they got the yeah the the master keys for the school no, on the their wrists keys. on that <laughs> ring. Yep, I'm at eleven thirteen. It was everything and more that I imagined. Your dress was hot, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, Amazing. okay, she needs that. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, because Cody's never called her hot Shoot. ever in the thirty freaking years they've been together. The By the way, we're gonna get Robin of and that Cody chubby up. girl. Oh, with she must have been pretty hungry. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, it was Ugh. everywhere. Ugh. To say that it turned me off would be yeah. what's the word? To say I was disgusted, oh, disgusted. would be an yes. understatement. Yes, disgusted. he in fact repeated that uh, to Tamron Hall in the tell-all that we just recapped. proudly. Yeah, proudly. No, he yeah. yeah, proudly. She goes, you said she Obviously. read it out to him, and she and and then he doubled down and said, oh yeah, no, that was a an understatement. Well, and he Chris, did have a you? sour tummy from the soda pop he drank the he, night before. He definitely had soda pop, and it was two o'clock in the morning, and he, and she was sitting in the back of the car, and then Mary and Cody were in the front seat. Let her have How her you fucking not? nachos. <laughs> You up there with me, holding hands, looking at each other, and realizing this is happening, and I'm so happy. It was amazing. Aww. There's many moments throughout that whole yeah. time there that was that was awesome. It was. It was so good. Oh, they planned that little snake the end of the aisle. Can't wait to see it. the officiant. It, it it kind of zoomed over, and the officiant was just standing on stage, like I don't know what to. Uh, <laughs> what? I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> How do do I walk like this? Is it like do I, this? Should I bring the the paper <laughs> with me? Yeah. Should I move over here? All right, I am at um twelve twenty one, and we're about to check in with. Cody and Robin, happiest yes. couple in the world. Is there a credit card in my pocket? Oh, oh my driver's license. Right. <gasps> oh. <laughs> no bragger, idea. Bragger, bragger. Oh, because I had to show my driver's license to. Uh, oh, 75. 75. <laughs> That's a 83. 75, 83. Ah. That's where the connection happened. All right, uh, 1221. Both on numbers. Who knew? <laughs> Oh, that's broken tree. I think this tree's mad at you. They're working on oh. freaking trees again, dude. Get the tree is not. Tree. not 
arborists, you are not. I don't trust them taking down any trees. That's probably like a protected tree species that they're just out there just chopping yeah. down, just stripping them down because Cody wants to feel like a man. Totally. Let them rot out there for no reason. Yeah, Cody is so the type of person that would cut down like a rare tree, like the last of its kind. He oh, he's out in the redwood forest. <laughs> just like he he's just stripping them down. Just stripping them I down. Think Cody's the person that shot um that lion a few years ago. Oh. oh remember when that was that a Papa John's guy too? Speaking no, of Papa John's, no, no wonder but I'm Papa John did for do pizza. big big league like hunting or big okay. animal hunting. Big game. Big game hunting. And uh, don't get me started on um that gorilla. Harambe? Yeah, Harambe. I still know that woman's you name. You know, I did just talk to Paige <laughs> once again about Travis the monkey the other day. She started pulling up Grizzly Man. We were talking about documentaries. And I was like, Paige, you've never seen Grizzly Man. That was like the first of its kind. Nobody and she started pulling it up. This, this, and nobody, you need to destroy this. Nobody should ever hear this recording. Yep. She she pulled it up and I'm like, no, no, no. I think that's Travis. I think that's Travis and Charla. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Wrong 911 call. Nope, nope. Yeah. That's your weekly, tra weekly uh, Travis and Charla <laughs> update. Charla For those of you who don't listen often. She's always on her mind. Okay. All right. Um, oh, someone just followed us on uh, TikTok. <laughs> We're blowing up. I'm at a 1230 and Cody is chopping down a tree and Robin's just there for some reason in a hoodie. All these trees are mad at me. They wanted to live. This yeah. Really yeah. Really so why? Like nature. <laughs> yeah. Nature. God. Business at this point. It's just like. Oh, you mean like it has for the last 400 years? Yeah. yeah. My only concern would be for my children and how they're treated. Yeah, we can tell that you care about your children a lot, Cody. Relationship, mm -hmm. and I think that they're all old enough to be fine. And so, it, I met David once. I I don't know anything. You know what I mean? So I'm I happy for them to, and I wish for them all the happiness that life can give them. That's my honest feeling. And that's it. It's hard for that to not be on my mind. We had 25 years together. Oh. Look, do you see how uncomfortable Robin is? Like, just walking yep. around. She's about to take off her gloves here. And now we're going to get the sexiest kiss you've ever seen on television. I'm at 13 minutes and 11 seconds. I'm just going to keep talking until the cameras leave. Hey, give me a kiss. Mm. Ew. Oh, that was... that. We need to get a room. Yeah. Get, get out of here. <laughs> Before this gets too horny. <laughs> We're going to build a room with these logs. Lock, yeah, they need a room because horny hot. Ew, that was like the driest <sighs> ass kiss ever. That is how mom and dad like would have kissed in front of their kids. Like, oh, mm, I'm going to make out with your no. mom. <laughs> It's been really, really difficult. It's really. Oh, Robin is now uh, in a talking head, and we she has a new shirt on that we've never seen before, and she's decided to go with. She's changing it up. No purple. Uh, we're going with kind of a navy blue. And what's I'll... going on with her hair? <sighs> hair curl akimbo. Look at that. That's not the normal big curled toward the face barrel curls that we're used to seeing she's trying well i mean again by this point she's seen all of the shitty comments online from god she like looks us. awful and i'm not trying to be mean like anti-feminist but she looks terrible Ugh, Corey just sent me a message from surviving sister wives okay everything is happening right now okay uh <laughs> I'll read it later. Um, okay, I'm at 1325. And again, okay, I love that you changed it up with the colors here, Robin, but navy blue also apparently doesn't work for you. I like the mm. black and white kind of like cheetah print she had on the blouse oh, okay. from like a couple episodes She's ago. Sexy. It's her sexy date night shirt. Blousey. Blousey. I'm going to just stand here and like pull pull on it the entire time. Ah, yeah. Made me take right. a step back and, and wonder. You know, does plural marriage really work? No. Maddie, Caleb, <laughs> your kids are happy right now. Let's do 
Kayla has on this the oh. trashiest freaking oh. like trucker hat. We get that you're bald, but like you're at a wedding. Take it <laughs> off. No or one wear, else like, is a different hat. You look weirder wearing it than just being bald. Just be bald. And also, why is his tie stopping halfway down his torso? Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna God. sneeze in a second. This is all, all awful. Right. Um, uh, we're at thirteen thirty-nine. Well, like Matt and Caleb, all your kids right now, all, all of you guys right now. <laughs> Do you feel like the picture, the picture taking of any event oh, is always where things imagine. get the most tense? Everyone's a little bit annoyed. Let alone with no thirteen kids. Oh, and all their families and significant others right. and their parents and your parents and need to both have the sides. And... Right. Oh, Caleb taking his hat off for the picture. And he's probably going to have like a dent on his head from the hat, which is stupid. <laughs> oh, God. You guys, your kids are happy. They're right here. Let's throw you guys in. We wanted to ever been in our photos. Like as many photos as possible of our big, huge family. Because what we just love is doing things together. Children I pushed out of my womb and their spouses, huh? Tony, get over here. McKelty, I want intertwined. I don't want that side. Hey, side. what's with all this segregation? Shut hey. up, McKelty. Shut up, McKelty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like surround sound. Yet yeah, no one asked you to be the, the like, you know, Organizer Wrangler, get out of here. No, Christine your... specifically asked for you to not be involved in any of this. Yeah, not your sh job, babe. Just get in line and shut up. Like, and there's else. Tony with his untucked, non non plum purple shirt on. God, I, I could, oh, I couldn't deal with her. I, I noticed too, like at the wedding, when I'm sitting there talking to people, half the most. How old is Caleb here? Like, uh, 65? Yeah, 40. <laughs> More than half the time is David's family too. Yes. Because they want to get to know us. And yeah. it's like, holy crap, where have you been our entire yeah. life, man? Yeah. You know? Are you guys going back? Are you doing yeah. this after? Are you doing this after? Well, I'll go if you go. And it's like, wait, you two are moving to North Carolina. Oh, that's awesome. So are we. Oh, whoa, okay. Yeah. All right. That's like they're all swapping sides. This is I've never met friends before. <laughs> With mom getting remarried. Aspen in this talking head looks exactly like Mia Farrow in um, Rosemary's <gasps> Baby. Oh, I can see it. Right? I, I can see it. I yep. I guess I think of plugging me a little bit differently. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> David. I just don't think plugging me is good for everyone. It, it wasn't good for my mom. And, the, like, in the end, it was good for her for a while. And then, then she needed uh, something different. Stand with your partner, Isabel. Wow, this family is way too big. They got divorced, but I think they still had a really beautiful life together. Yeah, I, I would never want to live plugging me. But I'm really thankful that I grew up. And I'm plugging my household because I love having so many siblings. It's amazing. And so many moms. It's really fun. But I don't think I'd want that for my kids. <laughs> and by so many moms, I just mean Janelle. No. And the yeah. two that were actually moms to me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, Mom, there is. God, she was oh, really. I know, Janelle. I think that. <gasps> Just, oh, you weren't joking around. I mean, I know, oh, I, I feel know, awful it, it for him. We've all been there. But like, we've all. But that's what makeups. Why did nobody yeah. on nobody on production say, yes. "Hey, let me put some cover up on that"? We're talking about Gabriel's like seven like huge herpes. On let his... me put a little trench. No, let me put a little retin A, huh. a little lotion, a little concealer, right. a little. Gonna like, dry up really quick. Powder. We'll get this over with really quickly, you... and then you can. No one's ever gonna know. No one's, no gonna, one's ever gonna know. Why would they do that to him? That's awful. I know because he's very, very handsome. Like other than like, well, why? Well, I, I wouldn't know, say very, very. I, think I mean, he's, he's handsome. Funny. Well, he's just so sweet. Remember when he cried? How yeah. Dare she? I mean, it's fine, but it's <laughs> okay. The comments are all hilarious. Everyone's with us. That's okay, yeah, no, no, I just, I, I feel like if we didn't address it. Like it would just be the the, no, the it, pink elephant in the room. If you, you know would. what, what were you doing, production people? Like this is your job. Yeah, he's just going on dab, making dab, camera dab. ready. Yeah. yeah, 
Or even, who is he with? Savannah here? Like, Savannah, yes. throw Savannah's your brother a bone. Savannah's looking at him like, ooh. Yeah, throw Ugh. some, uh, I don't know, wet and wild Conceal. concealer at the guy. Wet and wild, Jesus. <sighs> I mean, it's it's pretty bad. I'm really looking at it. Great. I feel bad for him. And I think I he's been picking at it. He's a picker like me. Oh, he's like, oh, I can see the white. I, I can see the head. I'm getting it yeah, out. I'm I getting it wanna... out. It's all healing from here, baby. And it never comes out. Beautiful lifestyle yeah. for those that are, that desire it. Who believe in it. Who believe in it and want <laughs> everything that comes with it. Personally, I don't think I would ever be able to make it work. Okay. Oh, well, that's, that's Ew, Tony. Ew, Tony. Gross. Why did they put Tony Kelsey at the Can you take your glasses off for the family group photo, please? I know. I know. I know. I know. Can you just not look for this one like, photo? Just take them off. Put Tony and McKelty a little bit further down the line where they kind of blend in. <laughs> You know, like go back a little. Peyton, can you actually just move right in front of uh, Tony yeah, there? Just yeah, yeah. Like someone you. cover up his untucked shirt. Yeah, yeah. If I were the photographer, I would have to say something. I'd be like, okay, just like tucking your shirt. You're real tucking quick. your shirt, dude. It, it looks it, okay. Whatever. He Ugh, just looks like he slob. looks trashy. It's trashy. Yeah. And it's disrespectful. Yes. Right, I'm at um 15 minutes and 57 seconds. Now. My opinion about polygamy started to really shift. Her last year with David has been incredible. It's been everything that my mom deserves, everything that she's ever wanted. And Aww. so it's more of it's an obvious tell that something was wrong from the beginning. It's my dad. It's so perfect my dad is back. Now. Oh. I honestly think that polygamy is a terrible idea. I think being raised in the family that I was was an absolute blessing. I honestly, I loved having all of my siblings, my mom, my dad, but I don't think it was fair to my parents. None of them got what they needed out of a marriage. Um, having uh, excuse me, Cody got to have sex with four women all the time. Gross. It wasn't fair for them women but don't yeah. don't put For cody the in there like this was somehow or unfair robin. to cody or robin yeah no because robin got More a monogamous wedding or uh marriage marriage yep also did mckelty get veneers her teeth look really like blisteringly white like Ro the one with ross's mm. teeth <laughs> i guess <see> <laughs> okay i mean i've only been married for seven years but i still I know what I deserve, and I know what my moms and my dad also deserve. And I don't think polygamy is shut what anybody up. Yeah. Honestly, hey, that's just up. my... Stop your gums me. and go yes, away. Yes, 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 oh, yes, yes, there yes, she yes, is. Yes, There's her girl. Oh, she has a little pearl necklace on, Jordi. Um, um, whoa. I Did I just see McKelty do an Arsenio Hall who, who, who? I didn't see it, but I'm going to just have to say, yes, probably you did. <laughs> that's okay, you're about to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Uh, oh, there's Leon. Leon's right in this oh, shot. Oh, Leon uh, looks actually really good there. Oh, Leon looks Got Isabel looking what? like a freaking supermodel right behind Leon, too. Like, jawline what? Yeah, but then there's God. Truly with her freaking. Three blind mice glasses. Yeah, no. Chanel's gonna sell on the other side of me. Savannah, too. Chanel, you're right here. Truly, come sell my tape. Chanel, you're right here. Uh, Chanel. It just seems right that David and Christine are getting married. Janelle has figured out her colors because even in this couch interview, yep. she looks freaking amazing, mm -hmm. freaking amazing. I just love blue. Her. Like she, she's a she's, she's winter, amazing. right? She's a winter. Winter, spring, summer, fall. I think she's everything. All you have to do is call. You know, I I, I take that back. Queen, goddess, that's Janelle. Can we she sing is. that song at your wedding? Winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you gotta do is call. And I'll be there. Yes, I will. You got a friend. Yes, 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 <laughs> okay. yes. All right. I Okay, I'm in. 1708. I don't know. This just feels right. Yes. Oh my god. Stunning. Oh, I'm twitching so much. I'm gonna get emotional. I know. Janelle's just like, oh, 
I don't want to interrupt. I'll just come in and give you a little hug. I just don't want to bother anyone. Yeah, she's got little pearl barrettes. She totally yeah, went to Claire's and was like, oh, you know what? I got a pearl necklace. Let's get some pearl barrettes. I'll just pull it back. <laughs> pull it back. Oh, I love it. And you know Gina. that this pisses Cody off so much watching this. <sighs> oh, he watched this over and over again. And over. Mm-hmm. And, and then Robin's like, Robin no, Cody, stop watching it. Just give me a really dry ass. Yep. I think going forward, Aww. I just see Christine and David having very, very many happy years. Oh, she's got her tennies on. Her little tennis shoes. We knew it. We kn but I mean, we knew she was going for a flat. Perfect. We knew it. Can I just remind you again that she is going to literally keep boot lamps because of us. Of you. Of you, Amanda. Of me, yes. Amanada. <laughs> yes. She is keeping boot lamps forever. Because they're just kind of quirky, Speechy. right? I kind of like things that are out Amanda, of the box. What are decor like, is? I'm going to this photo. You know, your heart's going to explode. Like, okay. So now, I absolutely love the idea that Christine has found David. I am in a really really good place in my life you know i'm very happy with where i am and what i'm doing and what i'm moving forward with i completely <laughs> anticipate that i will find somebody and that That's like, scary. This, is a, this is an example of one of those times where you know that no one actually asked her this question but she just yep. started answering it you no, and i, I told totally ignored her we're like oh look at the comments and mary's just yeah. yap, 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 yapping on <laughs> I think both of our eyes at the exact same time just went, all right, Mary's on screen. Don't care. <laughs> but she's talking and she's like, yeah, no, I'm sure I'll find someone. I, I know I will. No, I definitely will. Like, like someone will like me, right? And production's like, we just asked you how your day was today. Yeah. Yeah. How's the B&B &B going? <laughs> right. Have you, are you done felling that tree? Are those the ghosts? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. How's Bob doing? <laughs> We saw him <laughs> pretending to be a news reporter. He's splayed out on the couch right now. You crazy. Lemon shots. <gasps> oh my god. So bad. We're so bad. Mary looks really good here though. Yeah, I think she she's on Ozempic does. too. Actually. Yeah. But don't worry, she's gonna find love, okay? Yeah. Don't P worry. Green about is it. her color. Yeah. Be sure. I'll be able to well, find somebody who really loves me too. Well, you know, just really it's matter so. when and how that all works out. But that's something that I look forward to in my life. Oh, you next. Okay, then Isabel. Well, well, then you. Then you fill the phone. Okay. Isabel, stay. Were you Got looking it. at Okay. You look so Thank beautiful. you. Thank you for those words. Oh, my wedding. Thank you. Sure. I need to. I need to. weird. God, Isabel is so pretty. Jeez. Yeah, she she is. Is. Whoa. Back. Yes, you'll yes. This Maybe. is awkward. Okay. <laughs> I'm only taller than you. This is it was like David standing next to some random guy, and it was the definition of like yeah. two guys sitting in a hot tub five feet apart yep. because they're not gay. Yep, a hundred percent. They had no idea okay. what to talk about. No. So uh just waiting on his photographers. Weather. Smile for the picture. It's cooling down, huh? Oh shit, yeah, she's calling me. Sun's going down. There you go. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm at 1842. That's bull. <laughs> I know that bull. Ooh, swearing. Oh, I see Jody. them sitting on the porch with their rocking chairs, Aww. watching their. Grand I mean, shade immediately thrown right there. To, Cause Janelle's like, "Oh, I see them, them sitting on a porch and rocking. Yep. Them, not mm -hmm. you, Robin. Them." Yeah, hilarious. Kids and kids. I love the leg lifters. I know. That was awesome. Oh, they're talking about oh, Caleb. Caleb liked the leg lift. That was classic. Ca David. Caleb saw it. No one else saw it but Caleb. <laughs> Caleb's like, I, I saw, I saw that man. Caleb's gonna it. bring that up at Thanksgiving dinner too. He's like, I remember the <laughs> leg lift. You, you me, me, you. You remember? You remember? You, you me, you me, you me, me. me. Size on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little tricks up my sleeve. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> I'm not boring. I uh oh. Oh, they're okay. gonna bone. They're gonna go bone. He said, "Well, I have a sister oh, totally. who's just gonna come with me everywhere, and the kids are all my kids." And he's like, oh. "Do you know that that's like a tradition in a Jewish wedding? Is that like, or I don't know if this is 
all around the board, but my auntie Debbie used to be married to a, a Jewish man. And there's like a part after the ceremony, they like leave for like 30 minutes to bone. And then they like re-enter. That's like a tradition. I've seen that on some, um, oh, I saw that on some documentary too, Glory Vale. I know it's something where it's like, yeah, like everyone knows they're going to go consummate the marriage and then they come back right. in. <gasps> Yikes. Were no, you watching like the All right. Um, I'm no, at, but they're uh, definitely like, oh. I, I didn't need to know that. I don't want to know that. <laughs> right. I'm at 1913. Yeah, cool. Love you too. <laughs> you look at him so cute. <laughs> it just feels good. It feels like we're whole. Like, it feels like the family still has an identity. We would be so open to having any any of the other children join us, like, uh, or be part of that. Totally or, like, with our hand that. in the pocket. Any of the children who are not and here currently God. would be so welcome still to come. Oh. Mm. All right, going ahead. I'm at nine. I'm at twenty minutes. Uh, on the desk. Gotcha. Gorgeous. Setting. Oh, cute. God, Caleb, take the freaking hand off. It's so rude. Who? Caleb. Caleb. I just saw him walking through the reception with the baseball hat on. Come on now. Ooh, Christine now, looking like seductive eyes in this oh, yeah. engagement photo here. Yeah, like mm. sex to the yeah, a little sexy. Do you have a ring stuff. light on? Do you use a ring light I, for these? Babe, it's taped to the wall, babe, because it's so oh. dark in this room because there's no um it's not using my like windows or anything in here. Um, we have Avalon and Evie. Now, look, everyone knows I despise children, but this is freaking cute. They both look gorgeous. And I just kind of, I really respect the fact that Evie has like a prosthetic and just, is, I, I just love watching how well she, like, you would never know. Is that bad yeah. to say? Am I allowed to say that? No. I mean, they're yeah, just like, she's like living her life. Yeah, yeah. I like, get it. She has no idea. All right. Um, I'm at 2014. Let's go find some food. I need to get my shoes, babe. Oh. Hey, it's Tony's parents. Tony's parents. Yeah, Tony's parents are there. Whoa, well, they went all handsome out. Handsome woman was there as well. Oh. I can't stop the most twitching. Handsome of women? I, need, I feel okay. like I need to take turn my light off. Is that is that too dark? Do I, I look like so? Okay. We can see you, babe. No, it's all cute. Right. I, just, I, I, I don't want to keep twitching. All I right. am done with shoes. Uh. I'm going to just shove these under our table. Okay, you do that. That's my right. job. Thank you. Kelty, go away. That was incredible. Thank you. That was cool. Thank you. I'm glad you guys took the rest of your life together. I know. Me too. It's really just condescending. Yeah, it's like it's really cool. I'm letting you know. I approve. Yeah, I approve. It's an we i have this coming from a married movie. woman i, I would know whole years god ew, Hi, gross. Come here. you might as well come up come here Ugh. it's just very like making herself the main character oh, in course. any scenario yeah. and it's really main character in, in, in her own story Ugh. which again Ace says this all the time on their podcast, but he's like, I hate McKelty so much because I am McKelty and I think I am also McKelty. Oh, God. Oh, like, I love oh. these comments. You guys are so cute. Yes, yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I love you. Obviously. I like it. I have a good deal. Yes. Okay. Well, my, shoes. Well, my shoes are somewhere. Ew, my everyone's feet. in bare feet. Gross. Yeah. Just bring sandals. Harder to get started. <laughs> was that orange slices? What was that? I don't know. I was looking at the yesterday. Hey, thank you for being here. That oh, sign was I, busted, babe. <laughs> that was so busted. What like, was that? Did that sign? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It Yikes. said, "Welcome to love, um, Christine and David." But all the, but the nothing was, there was at like the no same centering. Level. Yeah, no, there was no, 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 no. I bet you, like, some kid came over and started like fucking with it. You know, 
It's probably one of yeah. McKelty's kids. And you're like, fingies hey, off. Likely, mostly. Ugh. Or it was Tony. Jeez. Oh, totally. Oh, Touch that's... Man. Thank you, the man. <laughs> Me too. I won't call you dad. Awkward. I love when uh something's awkward and then somebody announces that it's awkward and it makes it extra awkward. Yeah. Um, here's Matt. I'm not calling you dad. <laughs> I'm not calling you dad. I love it. Jokes. Okay. Uh, I love it. Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to make that a thing now. Where we just go, <laughs> jokes, <laughs> comedy, jokes. Uh, and here's Hunter once again being just like the king that he is, and he's like, "Did you, you did you eat? Do you do you want me to get you food? Like, do you want me to go and get you food? Because he's oh, just, is he Hunter. like a PA, like a physician's assistant, or like an RN or something? Yeah, he's a nurse. He's at least a nurse. Aww. Which that was a weird way to word that, but yeah, he, he yeah. like he's a nurse or like hired them. Um, that. but Hunter's remember, a good boy. remember what a he's a good man. Asshole he was to Robin when she had Solomon, though she still oh, when hasn't he was like forgiven him for it. She said that. Yep. Yep. I still am really struggling to forgive certain kids for not a teenage boy Solomon. yeah right when he's forced to face the fact that his dad put a baby spermie in me he and he was going through there. like such severe depression remember when he took that little bite of the yogurt yeah, yeah. a little meep <laughs> Yeah, Latrice will be back, guys. I haven't. Uh, she it's it's an hour past her feeding time, so I promise. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Let's keep this going. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. What's up? Um, isn't this a beautiful wedding? Aww. I whoa, rude. Who said that? The Kelty, rude. That's why I'm the one speaking and not you. Oof. <gasps> Ooh, that kind, of, that was a, that was kind of a tense moment, eh? I don't think I saw that before. Yikes! I mean, that's that's some sister <laughs> stuff right like, there. Yeah, they do not no, like Mc, no. McElty. They're they're like you've you've had enough today. It's yeah. time you've had to enough sit our down. entire lives. We're all sick of you. Go mm -hmm. away. With it's your time for you to go. Ass husband. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um at 2250. <laughs> yeah. oh and Kelsey and Aspen are so close, but they really do throw oh, jokes yeah. at each other. They, it's such a they funny love thing. Because we all know that they're joking, you know. Sure. Okay, I'm Aspen. Sure. I am Christine. Aspen has had up to here with McKelty uh, by this oh, point. She's done. And all the wedding planning all day today, it was enough. Remember when they moved enough. in together and they both had a talking head where they're like, I think we'll probably just end up living together for like the rest of our lives, like through all of college. And then like within a year before yep. the next nope. lease needed to be signed, Aspen's like, I'm nope, out. Nope, I'm moving nope, in nope, with nope. Robin. That's how much I hate you. Yeah. I am moving yep. in with Robin. Yep. And Robin was like, hmm, okay, I guess that's fine. <sighs> and you know, all the siblings loved it. They were like, yeah. All of the Hunter, Logan, all of them were kicking each other under the table, like, no, what's happening? <laughs> she, she said that into the microphone for national television. Oh, all right. Oh, God. Uh, 2231. Yeah. And to say was that I am very excited for you, yes, but I'm very excited for me. I have a huge family and it just got so much bigger. <laughs> yes. Uh, David, oh, as we know, mom gets younger with age. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. And uh, with you, she acts like a child, so that's awesome. Oh, that's cute. Um, but really, what uh, what I really love is how you totally let mom be herself, David, and yeah. you love her for it. And I see it so much. again. Shots fired at Cody there. Like you yep. let mom be weird like that, and you don't hate her for it or like treat her like mm -hmm. shit. You love her for just being herself, right? And honestly, she's not even that weird. No, no. Like, it's Cody like just like acts like she's like the worst, right? Because yeah, she naturally world. gets attention from the room, and that's what he craves. And he can't <laughs> stand that she just naturally 
is <laughs> I mean, the center of attention. A, she's the definition of a victim in Dateline because she does light up a room when she has She lights sleep. up a room. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves her. Always smiling. She can get along with anyone. Right. right. She's a little goofy. She's a little nerdy. But she's not Cody. And Cody can't stand that she takes an ounce of attention without even trying. Well, Cody's out here trying to spring people with hoses at a soccer game. It's funny. Fun, funny it's self. funny. People love getting sprayed down with hoses when they're not expecting it. Hilarious. They love it. <laughs> Especially right when cell phones are getting introduced and everyone's like cell phones yeah. are getting sprayed on. And who would want to be at this beautiful wedding in like the Utah Red Rocks when they could be out felling trees with Cody and Robin? <laughs> Get a <laughs> room. Don't stop. Oh, mm. God. Gross. <laughs> right. Um, I'm at 20, uh, 23 minutes and three seconds. And oh, congratulations. Yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Katie. I am David's oldest daughter. And I don't know if anyone oh, no knows class. this, but I'm actually the reason they're together. It's like, yeah, but you're not on Sister Wives, so no one cares. Crickets. <laughs> But here's where she reveals that, like, basically she facilitated this entire thing because she's a fan of Sister Wives. Oh, so here. I, I manifested this. Oh, yes. I first heard that Christine was a single lady. I, I ran into my husband's office. He was on a work call. And I was like, she's single. And he was like, who's single? Like, what are you, like, in a panic. And I was like, Christine Brown. And I was like, he's like, what do you know about her? I was like, she seems amazing. I don't know. Like, I was like, but she would be so good with my dad. Idiot. I don't think David likes the retelling of this story. He's like, yes, no. this isn't great, though. She's the McKelty <laughs> of David. Yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, gosh, she's going to make this all about her now because she was like, oh, she's seen Sister Wives before. Who hasn't? Get in line, Katie. And he goes, what do you know about her? And she goes, I don't know. She seems great, though. Okay. <laughs> So then let's well, try to be one of us, Katie. Like, she's pretending like she's one of you guys in the chat. She's one of us. Like, mm. <laughs> maybe she is. If you are, then I mean, we love you. Well, I mean, we take it all back because yeah. obviously we have um, no spine and we were going to like kiss you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is really amazing. Imagine that you were single. <laughs> yeah. I told her about how that you messaged me and she was all excited, way excited more than anybody was. Um, she made me believe that I could do it. I did my own profile. What? Yeah. You picked all your pictures yourself? Yeah, I picked all my pictures myself. You did good, boy. You had a great profile. Boy. Hey, I'm Evelyn Willie. <laughs> David is my dad. And now Chris King's my what? daughter. Why do they use last names all the time? <laughs> and I want him both to know that all his idea is wish him all the happiness, both of them. These are... This is Evelyn, David's mother. This is speaking. adorable. Okay, she's cute. Yeah. Very, very cute. Uh, my middle name is Evelyn, named after my grandmother. I remember. And you, I bought a whole bunch of shit for like a few weeks ago when I made fun of you for your middle name being Anne. Oh, Anne. Very e. triggered. By that was listen. Don't mess with the Anne E versus no E community. Okay, <laughs> don't come for any of us. <sighs> 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 My mom, Evelyn, um, she... Uh, Evelyn with the sunglasses on her head. Speak, and she's like, Everyone's wearing no, no, sunglasses. No, 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 no. Right, like, I can do it. <laughs> and when she did speak, it was like, holy cow, she did really well. She's a sweetheart. And she has taken me in. She's just taken me in as a daughter. She called me daughter now. Oh, she does? Yeah, she does. That's, that's good. good. That's she so nice. calls me David still, not son. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Aww. Well, Christine, this yes, is you I'm gonna cry now, and still are. A fairy oh, tale it's princess. Annie! Yes, <laughs> you are a warrior, and you do battle, and people have to reckon with you. You are fierce and strong. You protect and defend. You can wear those rose-colored glasses anytime you want, because what you see through those is what you have created. Adventure, fun, playing, loving, kindness, caring. This is all in the world, but it's everywhere you are. We want to thank you both for being just who you are and bringing good to our life. 
No, oh, he thinks about Annie, that. I know. Bombs. I know. That is the sweetest thing ever. First of all, get the baby out of the fucking room while Annie's making her speech, please. Um, yeah. <laughs> there was a baby crying, but also just it, it, it's such a classic Brown move. Is that Annie? She's holding the mic, but it's like uh, <laughs> right. Annie doesn't know. <laughs> she can't handle a mic. <laughs> She's not trained. <sighs> She and I love that, like, she though. knows that Christine was crucified for having rose-colored glasses. And she's like, listen, bitch, exactly. like, that's what makes you exactly who you are. Well, like, and you have no to one else the has that. that and she wasn't invited to Christine's first wedding yeah. because Rex was invited. So, she like, this is her first time, like, yeah. attending Christine's wedding. It's just really, it's nice. really sweet. Mitch, I feel like Mitch could maybe put his hair up or cut it. And somewhere. you know what I really loved about that? Like that rose colored glasses, like the colors of her wedding were very like rose hued. Yeah. It's just like very, oh, I love it. Which she is what great. the background I put on, it was supposed to be, but it's Got kind it. of fuzzy. So it looks like a bunch of bagels. The, the one on top nah. of you looks like a bagel. <laughs> yeah. An everything bagel. With I just cheese. typed in, um, I just typed in plum and um, rust. Hmm. Because that was yeah, one uh, of the colors. Tony, plum, and rust. Yeah, not precisely... lavender. <laughs> not, uh, not not all of these. I can't. <laughs> right. I can't. Worst ever. Uh, tread leche. <sighs> Did you put this up on the screen, Debbie's comment? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, go just me it. or is Cody, is Cody getting kicked in the balls with every toast? I mean, oh, they're bringing toast. up exact yeah. words that and phrases that he said <laughs> just to slight him, and it's so great. Oh, oh, please stop hating on babies, Amanda. I'm it's really, it's just a bit. I don't actually like babies are fine. You don't hate them, you just I don't, don't want them. And them. honestly, I, I think me. women who say, like, <laughs> I don't want to be married or I don't want to have kids or whatever. Like more power to you. Like right. do you, you know, to be miserable with my, and as someone who <laughs> loves kids and loves babies, there's a time and a place for it. Yeah, not during like, Annie, not during smoke show Annie's. Uh, oh wedding. no, no, no. We got Annie. So we everyone better Annie. zip it. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> okay. Hey. Hey. I'm going ahead. Okay. I'm at uh, 2608. This is excellent. I'm going to keep going. And the light's beautiful. It is. I thought this was the most beautiful scenery. The weather was perfect. We were mm. under the shaded tent. We were there. Oh, with I'm the so happy for her. And we no. got this great meal. Oh. <sighs> Jittles, the food? I mean, don't get me started on the food. That's what I... And that's perfect what I weather, to. Amanda. Perfect weather. That's all you and I need. Yeah. Like, we could have the ugliest shit ever. I want right, to be for a wedding. chilly and yeah. eating. Bri I mean, brisk. Like, <laughs> sleeveless in a same-style wedding dress, right? Whatever. But, like, right. it needs to be tops, what, 65? I, and I, I'll have, like, a, I'll have, like, a hoodie, like, on the chair behind me, but it never actually goes on. Oh, God, no. Like, a shawl, but, like... It's there, oh, but, like, just be... Just... One time like, I was oh, going... oh, I need my shawl. But, like, it's to cover your stomach. It's not to, like, cover your arms. Please. Right. One time I went to someone's birthday party and I missed the subway because I decided to turn home and go and grab a hoodie. Oh, Just God. because I knew that if I walked into that birthday party, everyone would be like, aren't you cold? Because I was wearing sleeveless. Ah, so I went back and then you're going to get all this attention. We're like, no. So I had a hoodie on my arm. Oh, oh obviously <laughs> on the arm. Right. <laughs> on the crook. On the crook. <laughs> right. On the crook. <laughs> but you missed the subway? Oh, wait, not sandwiches. You meant like actual Subway. I would never miss a Subway sandwich. No, I, I was fully <laughs> thinking that they served you were, you Subway sandwiches. And no, that's what I was upset about. I'm no, like, I just like caught the, the next meal. Subway. But like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie Gutierrez, for a super sticker. Oh, actual talent in the room. Actual comedy in the actual room. Actual interest comedy, right? Everyone check out Debbie Gutierrez. She's yes. actually a really hilarious comedian. The best. You can find her everywhere on social media. And we're at 2628. I'm excited for the rest of today. Mm. 
beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I love this. I want to get married just to do this. <laughs> to me, the fact that they are obviously openly affectionate with each other Aww. is almost Again, like another the, shot fired okay. at Cody. The kind of soothes oh, yeah. that wound that Cody inflicted. Oh, Jody, it's about to get way more horny, just so you know. She's really? going like, to give him a lap dance and she's going to be grinding on his D. No, 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 no. Why would I lie? I, I always knew she was. I always said that Christine and Cody she's were a the freaky bitch, Corey's. Yeah. No, they weren't doing it often, but I knew Christine was like, she, real. she's watched porn. Like, she knows what she, you should be doing. Like, I think she'd be a thousand percent open to like whatever role play Cody or David wanted to throw out there. If it was like Dungeons and Dragons, she'd be like, done. She'd like grab one of Truly's capes and like have at <laughs> it, you know? Like, that's too, it's too close to Truly, I think. Um, like, I mean, uh, yeah. Mid twenty seven okay. or I'm at twenty six fifty seven, and her and David are macking out, oh, way God. hotter than Cody and Robin. By the way, there's actual like moisture involved in this kiss. Oh. Cody was telling her I was never attracted to you. I thought you were always gross. Like I had to, like, I had gross? to like, really work hard to be with you. And I thought, what is? Yeah, Janelle's wow. Janelle, Janelle, it doesn't give a shit anymore. I always thought she was gross. She said that's that the Cody first time said that. But that's the first time we've ever heard someone say Cody said she was gross. Right, but I completely believe that he did say that to Janelle. Because Janelle has been coming out all year saying, wow. oh, he told me he always hated Mary. Like, Cody definitely went to Janelle to have, like, heart to hearts. Farts to oh, hearts. Oh, right. Because they're best friends. Bros. They're best friends. Bros of four hoes. And okay, so I'm gonna rewind um 10 seconds just because she's about okay, to say sorry. something really funny here. I'm at 2701. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Cody was telling her I was never attracted to you. I thought you were always gross. Like I had to, like I had to like really work hard to be with you. And I thought, what is <laughs> ass kind of thing <gasps> to say to somebody? Especially someone you've been with for 30 freaking years and you have six children with. Thank you, Janelle. That's what we've wow. all been saying. She said it all. What a shitty asshole thing to say to someone, especially after 30 years and after having six freaking kids together. Yep. And Sums Janelle's not stupid. She knows like, okay, well, what did you say about me? Like you've right. had six kids together. Obviously it wasn't that gross or that disgusting or you had to work that hard. So what are you talking about me to other people? And also just knowing that Janelle knows that Cody is going to watch this. And there's not a thing he can say back to that. There is no excuse he yep. could give. That was the perfect argument. Oh, what a, dick. what a dick. And he can't come back with it. I love it. Oh, no. He'll just kiss Robin and put, put another baby in me. Oh, get away. Oh, oh gross. It's, get getting too, it's getting too horny. <laughs> That's not gross. Yeah. Robin and her beaker oh. face. Mm, let me give you a smooth. Yeah, how do you even... <laughs> It's really difficult it, to it do hurts. it, right? It hurts. I think it's because both of us smile a lot. <laughs> so our mouths don't go that way. It's disgusting. What a piece of All right, shit. I'm at 2717. It was not cool. It wasn't true. It wasn't cool. And David has kind of come in and fixed all of that. And she feels mm -hmm. loved. She feels seen. She feels attracted. You know, she feels all the things that you should feel with your spouse. And it's Aww. kind of all come to this nice, happy ending right here. I think that she deserves it. I don't like that tattoo, babe. Especially after the last couple of years that uh, all this stuff has been coming out that Cody's been saying. Mm. Like, she deserves it. She deserves to be happy and have somebody who really loves her. Good for Mary. Like, that is so... I, I cried at that last night, too. Good like, for she Mary. She has every right to kind of be bitter at them because they, they don't like her. But she yeah. gen she seems to genuinely want her to be happy, whereas Cody's like, no, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I, I really want them to be happy. Her and David, Hooli, I, I I'm, I'm totally thrilled. Yeah. Yeah. Even for Mary to be like, listen, Christine and I are not even friends, but that's shitty. Yeah. She deserves and to be happy. Especially after what he said about her the past couple of years, like, good for her. And they're not stupid. They know Co Cody is saying the exact same shit about them. Right. Like, if you're going to say it about her, you're going to say it about me, you stupid piece of shit. 
and Cody's the only one that looks stupid. Right. There's no upside to Cody saying that, which is the weirdest thing ever that he says it. And uh, no fat good is going to come of that comment. Uh, fat Lemons in the chat says, when you talk about how gross your ex is and you have kids together, you are also insulting your children. They're half Janelle. So what yeah. are they half gross? Um, yes. And I've said this yeah. before, but like uh, I, there's this um, Instagram post or something with just saying, imagine being Christine's kids and having the exact same face as her and then hearing your dad say how ugly she is. Yep. Yeah, would you want your daughters to marry a guy like you? Then right. don't say it. If you think I mean, you're such awful. a pillar, would you say, oh, God. Hi, Schmug. I know you're hungry, but too bad. Oh. We have to finish this out. Christine had a goal in mind and, and hopes of finding oh, a soulmate. Here's Cody wearing his cool fart of the ocean necklace. <laughs> oh my God. And his stupid hair where he like I'll slicked it back. He's, he looks yeah, horrible. He's doing horrible. <laughs> he looks, and he looks like he's on drugs. I'm sorry. I love karma. I really do. If I can just um, say this for those of you who are listening to the podcast version, Amanda says, um, I, I, Amanada no, Gabby me. says, I just saw the event planner talk about Christine's wedding entrance. It was I Get to Love You by Rule R U E L E. -L -E. Like Ruel. I'm going to write this down because that was really beautiful. To okay. Love you. Amanda, learn the uh, lyrics to that. I'm, ju I'm just kidding. <laughs> How many songs am I <laughs> is, you, is your wedding just going to be me giving a full performance? It's a Amanda concert. A, Beyond a Beyonce performance. It's a Amanda concert. Okay. All the single ladies. All the Put your hands up. Put your hands up, <laughs> Suki. Am I right? <laughs> All right, I'm at 2816. Experience, and she put a lot of emotional energy into that. And I think she did something magical that drew that to her. I think they're, they may be that match made in heaven, and I hope that oh, they have God. a wonderful day. Aww. David and I took dance lessons for our dance just so he would be more comfortable. I really don't care how I dance. I just want to have a good time. I thought I was going to be really, really nervous. But when we got out there and I just looked at you, I, the nervousness went away. You can say what you want. You can be anyone and I still love you. Aw, this is sweet. There's a lot of spins in the first dance. Well, yeah, why? I, I can't really see any proof of them taking dance lessons. Yeah, because they, they're right. dancing, dancing, and then he just keeps right. doing the same twirl in the same direction right. of her. But right. it's not like they're like doing like a swing dance number or something. I actually think first dances like are they're just incredibly awkward. Oh, totally. They just was, are. What was your dance? Uh, my, mine with Brad was um, to make you feel my love by Adele, which or. No, wait, we did the uh, original version. Who sings the oh, original version? Oh, that's sweet. The guy with the voice like this. Yeah, I can't recall right now. Um, ours was David Gray, um, This Year's Love. Hmm. What was, was your dance when we dad? Picked. Oh, um, it was the... Um, um, uh, uh, the Way You Look Tonight, um, the version that was in Father of the Bride. Mm, that's uh, Monica and Chandler's... Uh, or it's one of their songs. My like, song I didn't do garter toss. I didn't do bouquet toss. I didn't do any of that stuff. I think I did. I don't really remember. It wasn't like a big deal. I did. No, not Macy Gray. Who's okay? Who, no, yeah, to make you feel my love. Who sang the original version? Why can't I, I feel so? S Bob Dylan. See, I mean, it was like okay, so okay. obvious that it was yeah, like yeah. embarrassing that I wasn't getting that right. Uh, my song with my dad was "O Mio Bambino Caro" from Jenny Shkiki. Come again? What was that? It's a, it's, not, it's a. Okay, so it was like the very first show I ever did, um, called Johnny Aww. Shkiki, and I, um, I was the little girl in it. I had three lines, and it was he says he's coming, Johnny Shkiki. That was all my all my lines, and um, 
the song goes, oh, mio bambino caro. You know, you've heard it. It's it's in it every... Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but my that's dad, cute. So the whole show is about a uh, like a guy, that, like a patriarch that dies and then the family comes together and tries to figure out like how to get his money. His money. And my dad was the dead body in the show. Oh, so, God. Like, my dad got to like perform like a death right at the beginning of the show. And then he just had to be a dead body for the entire two hours. Oh, so I thought it was cute because the song is cute because yeah, like it oh, actually meant something, yeah, right. And the song is Oh, my beloved daddy, but my dad was oh. angry when I chose it. He's like, Yeah, it doesn't really work. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I oh, I, I don't even like put this out into the universe, but um, yeah, no, like, I, like I have a song in my head if I ever were to, whatever, okay. but we'll we'll. Well, first, let's put together my. I won't make you sing it. I was just gonna say we'll put together your your set list. <laughs> Obviously, because like that's really what's important. That I'm day. I'm would only get married so that you could have a concert, a comedy concert, actually. Right. <laughs> Interests comedy. All right, we're at a twenty nine right, sixty. There we go. Oh my God. And I was just get, laughing and smiling at you because Aww. that's what I had to focus on was you. I know. This is sweet. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad it's awkward. Spent, it's awkward. I'm glad they spent some money on that sweet ass choreography. There. And then she, they kind of like ended too soon, where they're just like, yeah, Let's just stay, stay. We got a couple more bars, right? And now her oh, dress, like sweet. she's worn, she's worn the dress for a few hours, so it's getting bigger and bigger. It's loosened. Yeah. It's oh loosened. yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Yeah. We know. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. She, now she's like, oh shit, I probably should have gotten like a pair of spanks or something. It, it's it's breathing. It's letting out a little. <laughs> right, okay. She still looks great. Don't get me wrong. Obviously. Oh <laughs> I mean, all of this just makes it more charming that they ended yeah. too early. Or I, just, I, love you. I love you too. Uh, Seven feet everywhere. No wiggle. Go get your mom. Go get your mom. Aww. You want to dance, mom? Yeah. All right. Aww. This next part is going to make Oh my god, I thought the mom had sunglasses on her head, but it's a bow. No, those are sunglasses. Oh, they are. Yeah, no, those are sunglasses. Oh, oh, you're right, they are. Okay. I got a little too hopeful. That's cute, though. Aww. Oh, Christine's dancing with Isabel. I knew that I couldn't have a daddy-daughter dance because my dad, he can't dance. He's too sick. So Aww. David suggested a dance with my daughters instead. That's just, very sweet. Just natural. They've been with me for so, for so much of this, for, for everything. Aww. Very sweet. Oh, McKenzie. God, go away. Yeah, and truly, it's it's not bright outside anymore. <laughs> you can take your yes. off. Please. Why, why do I feel like Truly's just like chewing out a bunch of licorice during this rehearsal, during this reception? I don't know why. And the vision was just to make it this big, huge group of women dancing together. It was incredible. Aww. You. Come on. Let's go. Okay, I don't like being pulled up onto a dance floor. I'll come when I'm ready. I'll come when I'm good, liquored up, and ready. Yeah. There, there's still shrimp. There's still a shrimp ring that's available right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom and roll my girdle back up to where it's supposed to be before I get back onto the dance floor. All right? We all know it's rolled all the way down by this point. Yeah. More, having more fun and more fun. Christine interact with David. Quite frankly, I've never seen her be this happy. And that's no slight to my dad. I think that they really tried and they gave it a hard go. And that they really did love each other. But I think that's remember when Gabe when Garrison <laughs> Do you know what I'm about to say? 
Like oh, when Gabe of- said we should just lie to dad about the COVID protocols? No, that's funny too, though. But it's when they were going on vacation, one of their vacations in the campers, and Garrison's like, he said something about like World War II and how like they killed the general. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then and then Cody was pissed, and Gabe is like, "So who's driving, Dad? Is it you or someone else?" And Cody's like, "I don't fucking know. Not right now. Not right now, son." <laughs> and, then, and then the scene just ends with Gabe going, "Whoa, all right." Yeah, yeah. Gary's like, "Uh, yeah, but too bad the soldiers killed their general." <laughs> just saying. <laughs> He's like, "Excuse me, Dad. I just want to know if you needed some help backing up the RV." Not right Get now. Out of my face. <laughs> Fuck you, Gabriel. All right. Who closed this thing? As the shit's like pouring out. They're like, Dad, Dad, you might want to put the cap back on, Dad. This we did it this morning. I don't know what to tell you. All right. Sometimes that's just the way things go. I'm reassured that this is right for Christine Aww. when I see how happy David makes her. And almost all the weddings that I've gone to, like for our kids. And Sit down, McKelty. Like Dancing has been like what people look forward to most. In the brown well, town. that's for sure. That that's true. We do. We do look at. We, <laughs> we really expected ourselves. Yeah, that right. You know, whenever we get together and have parties, it's always been a lot of dancing. Ain't no Ooh. party like a brown family dance party. A brown family dance party. We're gonna die. <laughs> Janelle's like, I'll do it if I can wear a wig because I feel like I can get into character. Oh know. yeah, oh yeah. Oh, she can't be herself. She can't <laughs> be seen as Janelle dancing. She can be no. seen as. Um, she needs Goth to be Maddie dancing. Right. Yeah. Angry yeah. Maddie. Whereas Ooh. Robin was nice Maddie. Pretty Maddie. Oh, God. I'm sad that I'm having to miss the Brown family mosh pit. It what? Left out because... That's weird. Uh, because you are left out because everyone in this family uh, hates you. Yeah. She's mad because... about missing the dance. <laughs> You're not married to her anymore. They're not your family anymore, Cody. Right. They went, bye-bye, like you told them to. Uh-huh. So now, yeah, you don't get to be part of that. And also, uh, Christine is 51, and she doesn't need her arm to be pulled out of her socket while you, like, toss her around the dance floor. So Violently thrown bye. around. Yeah. Just yeah, go with like, the like Tony and McKelty. Tony and yeah. God, Cody. It's <laughs> just... He's doing an almost okay job of convincing me that, like, he is happy, but you can tell that he's, like, dying inside here. Oh, dying. That he wasn't there to be the center of attention at this dance party. Oh, God. You know, he was miserable that day. Oh, that was whole a... day. He sat oh, in the dark. he was a dick. He yeah. was snippy and snappy and chippy at people. I think he, he went to the not... casino at, like, 5.30 in the morning that day. It's like, I just need to... Oh, it was like oh don't don't da- dad's on the recliner, dad's on the on the sectional with his feet don't, up. Don't don't yeah. let's all go downstairs um, to the basement. Uh with just Aurora. leave Ariola and yeah. Dad upstairs on their own. Like don't Right. <laughs> right. Mosh pit is so much fun. Such a loser. Oh, okay, Peyton. And just... I'm always like, not unless we take a dance class together. And he's like, why? And I go, because when we're dancing, I become the pole and you dance around me. What? Ew. Don't say that, babe. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't Whoa, really Christine. Oh, yeah, no, Sorry. this is where I it's about. I saw Christine with a wandering hand. <laughs> His this is about children this is are when there. It gets into the grinding, so let's just play that through. Okay, okay, I'm gonna focus. You grabbed a hold of me, and so we're gonna get out there and ask. And also, we get out there, and everybody's gathering around us, and they start doing this thing, and I was clueless. And you go, "It was it called a flash, flash mob?" There was it's not a flash mob. Not a flash mob. They're all just the whole. The, everyone in the dance. It's floor a dance floor. Like, yeah. It's a dance floor. It's Everybody not a mosh pit. In the air. That's all that's happening. It's just this. It's a reception. It's a wedding reception. Right. And we're dancing. A flash mob is like, oh, everyone starts dancing to a choreographed dance to something that was unexpected in the wild, if you will. Right. I participated in a wedding proposal on the Brooklyn Bridge in a flash mob. <gasps> that, type that's right. That I could never find the photos to that I have tried. I mean, I have searched deep and wide, deep and wide, and I've not been able to find that, babe. But wow. They were doing a flash mob for us. Yes. That's not. Oh, flash mob. 
Not a pond. Not a pond. Not a flash pond. <laughs> not a flash pond. <laughs> what, what song is this? It's not the it song. At the car doing. wash. At the car wash. Yeah, they're just doing this. Did they all take dances? What, what's, like, what beat is that? Who thought up this sick move? Well, he didn't have that? Christine to do it for them. Christine's usually the one that um that, that does that uh, choreographs everything. Uh oh, somebody have peeped in my door. Do I have a shade on it? Uh oh, I probably do have a child. Sorry. Okay, wrong with the Annie. Aww. That was sweet. McKelty, oh, go McKelty. Oh, God. Uh, oh. oh, Latrice, you just hit your head. <gasps> oh, oh well, um, I mean, tonight's a night of karma, so. <laughs> Holy ass. Um, Amanda and Jode, how long have you been friends? 2017? 18? Something? You can hear oh, our very first 18. episode. Yeah. Oh, God. Not doing that. That would and, be like oh, a, I mean, a first date. God, no. I'm like, hi. I'm, hi. hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, God. No, that'd be, that'd be awful. But then I told um, you the story about when I broke that chair and, every, and we were immediately best friends. Oh, right. Because right. I never let you live it down, and I'll never forget like the image in my mind of you sitting on a chair and it just falling. <gasps> just <gasps> you fucking bitch, get out of here! Then that's to Latrice. Those of you really listening, hurt. not watching, Latrice yeah, well, just hissed and swatted violently. And, yeah, I'm bleeding. Yeah. Yeah, I'm bleeding. It's fine. Um, let's go ahead. And and, um... and and everyone thinks that I'm the one that I just make up these stories <laughs> of Latrice being violent. We are about to okay. get the. Okay, I'm at 3432. Uh, they're so ready. <laughs> oh, Janelle. Oh, Janelle loves cake. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to cut the cake. Woo! Do it. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh, God, I want to get right into this. Yes, let's do it. Oh. Okay, ready? That's a huge piece. You ready? I'm not going to shove it. Go here. Go around. No, y'all do it to you. They're feeding each other cake. Go away, McKelty. You're a diapered kid. McKelty's baby. The diaper is like it's exploding. It's a dirty diaper. Just... <sighs> it's fully packed. No, listen. I don't really care, but I just don't like McKelty. So it's bitch eating crackers. Everything right. she does, I'm going to find annoyance with. And I'm, I know I'm frozen, but can you still hear? Yes. Okay. I don't even care anymore. Oh, good thing. Wait, we want to try all three. We're not done. We want to try yeah, you all better. Three. For what they paid for those cakes. Let's do this one. Naked cake. Oh, that looks like, like, like a spiced or like a carrot. Ew! Ew, I know. I know. No, no. Yeah, not no. great. Oh, Christine is horned up. Shut up, McKelty. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Christine just like licked her one finger. Like, Ew. Yeah. I mean, they're funny for each other. I kind of love it. I mean, it's cute. But... Yeah. Start dancing and The captions just said, Christine exclaims. <laughs> oh, who got the bouquet? Some woman. Tammy, David. Tammy. Sister. Tammy. Tammy. School librarian Tammy, all Wearing in black, all black. head to toe. <laughs> I mean, no shame. That's what I wear 24 7 pretty much. So. It felt like. The real Brown family was back. I mean, that. Ew! <laughs> Sorry. Right after he said that, just oh, yeah, shot just to me. McKelty going like, like, mm, mm, like mm, doing gross. the uh, Jersey Turnpike that uh, Dina. Yeah. yeah. Don't like that, babe. 
Ooh, Hunter's got a dance circle around him. Ooh. Move my feet. Mike kept on whispering to me. He's like, sing along with me. Terry has special dance for David. We gotta get a chair. I'm like, okay. Oh, here we go. This is this is rough to watch. This thing up. Ew. Jared David's friend is doing a lap dance on yeah, him. Yeah, this is weird. This is where things get kind of weird. Oh, Janelle is Janelle. Just, Ew, what is going on? Why is the friend grinding on David? That is not cute. I hear we're at this group of people, and I hear this guy yell out, Daddy! And I see this big guy running towards David and jumped in his arms, wrapped his legs around him, and David's just laughing the whole time. He's like, Jared. This is weird. I'm like, ah, this is Jared. He was he's not my son, but I we, he grew up in the same neighborhood that, that I was living in and he likes to enjoy life. He's not afraid to just let loose. Yeah, and clearly. Did he what? Yeah, this, this is man is giving me. David a full lap dance. This is more sexual than Cody um wrestling with uh with his uh the oh, person he went on the mission with. This is what Cody wants to be doing. Also, right now, oh, I, I just looked up and I thought we had um six 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 uh, listeners, viewers watching right now. Wow, this is this is something. Um, oh, I'm back. Wow. Wow. Am I back? And I'm back. Am I back? And you're back. And yeah. I'm back. And you're All right. Back. This is weird. This is just bizarre. And it's not because it's like a gay thing. It's like this is his wedding day. Well, like man, woman, whoever. This is just weird. Like the the it's not it's outdated now the joke of like, oh, let's pretend we're gay. Or like like men acting like oh gay. It's outdated. Yeah, it's not that's not funny anymore. Yeah, was Jared also peeking in your windows in the old days as you're growing up in the same neighborhood? What is this? And oh, then like everyone this. in the audience just kind of has a glow stick that, no, what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yay. Okay. <laughs> yay. This is funny. This okay, is guys, this. afternoon. And we all came together and gave you a beautiful golden shower. A shower for guys. An hour long party with guys. An hour long shower with guys. A guys afternoon. Again. <laughs> okay. Next thing you know, Christine's like, it's my turn. <laughs> he, he emotioned me, I'm sure of it. His death. He emotioned to me to come over and I was going to take the challenge. I'm like, wait a minute. If he can dance like that with him, so can I. I, I. couldn't do this. Oh, no. oh, that I would no, no. no. It was not. It wasn't planned at all. No, the mother is there, Christine. No, I, he your just... Children, your children. Your grandchildren. Is there. It's, 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 oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Honey? Honey, 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 honey. No, 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 no. The best was looking over seeing <gasps> Janelle's face. Oh, Tony is pretty. Tony's into Tony it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Tony was just chewing his gum aggressively, like, oh, yeah. Uh huh. <sighs> We're going to do that later, my Kelty. Gross. High latrine. All right. I don't like that. And then all of our kids were right there. I guess it was a bit much for some of them, but I didn't care. Yeah. Well, good for her. I mean, yeah, I'm not mad at it. She's like circling around him. Oh, this isn't like a momentary thing. This is like a thing. <gasps> Mounting him, spreading her legs. Oh my god. Yeah, everyone in the comments is saying, like, yeah, like these are like, this is um like this this reads very like Utah Mormon. Like they didn't get to they didn't grow up being all like, you know, sexual like this. I guess. Okay. And I get it. Like, okay, they're all partying, they're drinking, you're seeing your own kids like as an adult, you're doing the same. And on okay, it, it's not something I would do, but like more power to him. Like, you're adults, bye bye. Like, do whatever the fuck you want. I wouldn't you probably do it because paid... I, I would look weird doing it. I would look it would just be weird if I did this. If I, I did it? No, if I did it, this would be like uh, the equivalent of. Oh, I would be cheering you on. I would think it was hilarious and I would love it. No, but it's the equivalent of every naked picture I've ever sent to a guy where I'm kind of like. (laughs) like, (laughs) Do you do like a derpy face? I just can't can't take myself seriously. Yeah. 
I still, I, I can't do like, it. I can't do it. <laughs> it's like one, one, like nipple looking the other way, like. Ah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah. I just can't. Look up right. for her. Hey, have fun. You only live once. It was hard to believe that she was raised for release for so many years because that was. <laughs> I think they kind of forgot people were there. <laughs> Dude, did you get a baby? Oh, probably. It's really? <laughs> I have to say that was a little weird for me. I'm like, mm, that's weird. And my kids were like, that's kind of weird. Now I'm like, yeah, it's kind of weird, but whatever. So they're ready. <laughs> Who knew? I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, teach their own, you know. <laughs> we have fun. Whatever was going on between them, it's great. It's great. True. My marriage with Cody was uh, so different than this one. It was just a quiet, really quiet. It was just an immediate family. In our church, the plural weddings just aren't celebrated. Oh, God, this depressing old wedding photos. I don't need to see what plural wives did. They had a really small, quiet um, party. No party. So when you see me, you go, wow, we're going to have an awesome big party. Yes. The glow sticks themselves are kind of weird. Like, what do I do with this? Well, they have the glasses too. They have, all, they have like a light up theme. I don't like the glasses, but that's just. Oh, it's sweet. They love each other. Get out of there, McKelty. Why'd you just smack her on the butt? Go away. It felt really wholesome, and it made me feel very complete that everyone was there. Aww. And we had our, our family back together. And we were back together. Everyone was so our happy whole to be family. Around, around family again. And that's something that we haven't had in a really long time. Get him, Gabe. <sighs> yeah. I think she Tell has him. So much better so stick That's what matters. Yes. She had, like, we she all had a good time. Up. She got her fairy tale wedding that she's always wanted. And you see good. how many people were at Christine's wedding and David's oh. wedding. And you truly Compared to Robin and Cody's. Right, right. And I'm the How long they all. Oh, that's cute. It was incredible to have all those people there for us. Yes, it was. It was, it was just the whole Aww. place, the it's whole weekend chill. was just magical. It was. It was a dream come true. I had no idea we would be surrounded by so much love. Yeah. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Time to go fun. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's, it's the right fit. Everything is just, it's like I felt like I've known you my whole life. The way oh. No, you haven't. You've known each other like less than a year. Well, it's fine. Just <laughs> yeah, but they're so new. <laughs> yes. Just Why are there pumpkins. just two pumpkins sitting on it? Yeah, I was just going to say, what are those? What were those for? J Janelle put them on the table to bring home. She's like, we got pumpkins here. Who knew? I'll take them. Yeah, I'll take them. I can make a pie. I, I know they're not <laughs> pie pumpkins, but, you know, get some seeds. I'm true. This wedding, our wedding was a dream come true. Looking to our lives together is awesome. I was, I was single for too many years, and it's Aww. awesome to have you. I was sharing awesome. for too many years, and it's awesome, awesome Mary, I'll just you too. Yep. That's a, I'm a very lucky person. Me too. Good night. 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 So loved. <sighs> I love it. I love love. Who doesn't love love? <sighs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm happy for Christine and David. Aww. The Woolies. It's a the Woolies. Woolies family Do you know dance party. changing her name from Brown? No. I, I heard that somewhere. I might be wrong. I might have dreamt that. But... From Brown to what? Whatever it was. Oh. 
Oh, I love that. Yeah. And it might be wrong though. Um, yeah, let's wrap this up. My back is killing me and Latrice is okay. being a bitch. And Wally and- looks like a statue. He is ready to go out. <laughs> he knows. He's like, okay, bitch. Yep. Oh, Mary Davenport, people are saying. Oh, okay. Davenport. Walter, you are so cute. Yeah. I love you so much. Uh, So next week, same time, same place. It's going to be, you know, sister, wives, friends of extravaganza. Um, Barber, Mary's maiden name. There you go. I feel like Uh, it's, yeah, next week, everyone just bear with us. Um, We both know what we're doing now, like with StreamYard and shit, but like, you know, I'm in Canada. Jody's in Michigan. It's a lot of people. And we're <laughs> and the internet doesn't always work on both ends. So we're gonna yep. just we're gonna get through it all together, guys. Um, that was really uh, sweet. And now yeah. I want to get married. Like right yeah. now at this moment. Like give me like a half hour, but like put it, put it in my belly. No, uh, God, no, <laughs> never. Okay, I'm pretty sure Latrice just like just repelled off the wall <laughs> she she, may, she like makes she makes a heavy landing when she jumps off of things yeah okay okay it, uh, it's time. Thank, thank you shannon, shannon for the super sticker you're also awesome it was an awesome episode it Pretty was awesome. awesome. And awesome. Um, that's it. Uh, next week, uh, check us out on Patreon. Somebody asked earlier, where can we hear your guys' first episode together? I think if you go to Love to Hate TV Patreon and search yep. our episodes. Our crossovers, together, it'll be the very first one. Search Teen Mom. It'll be there. Teen Mom Jody, maybe. Or, or Jody and Amanda. We got lots of you'll tags find. and stuff on there, so you'll right. find it. And but, uh, smash, smash that, that like. We're at 666. <laughs> and um if short king 75 is out there watching this um you know where i live just saying she's got some empty skin skin for a tat <laughs> so just saying god remember all right that love you guys yeah, smash bye. that like and uh we'll see you next week you're all adults bye bye, bye. bye. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and We Love to Hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time!